Uh, yeah. So, um, yeah. Hey! This is Josh, the guy who runs the games for teenagers and troublemakers. Uh, this is TNT Presents Side Quest Suicide Squad Part 2. Uh, previously Teeny Tales, but I still don't know how I feel about that name. Anyway, uh, this here footage you're about to see slash here was thought lost until now. It is found and being brought to you with minimal editing. Quite raw, in fact. Uh, it was recorded over Zoom, so the visual and the audio quality you may find to be wanting quite a bit. But, you know, we still had fun, and I hope you have fun listening to us. Uh, for those of you waiting for the next real session of Teenager Troublemakers, the podcast, session 12, uh, it is on the way. I just recently revamped all of the components for my computer, so I'm a little behind on the editing. Uh, it was a success, but it kind of kicked my arse. Uh, oh, and please like and subscribe and something else. Enjoy the show. Just remember that third thing. It is the meat of the episode starts at about the 16 minute mark. So if you want to skip the little introductions, go right ahead. Greed is preferred. Oh, no. No. <laughs> Oh my god, there he is. I'm ready. Oh, in your room, on your desk. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm not on my desk. Look, this is over there. Oh. And I'm not even using a freaking desk. My mom won't let me have the other part to make the, the little category. I had to, like, improvise. <laughs> All right, so can you hear us good? Yeah. What mouth? Hey, real quick. What microphone are you using? The one on the laptop. Okay. Yeah. Basically, this. Uh, okay. I'll I'll try to go through my announcements earlier. Um. Blah, 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 blah. Uh. Basically, uh, as soon as we all have microphones that make these recordings actually sound good, we'll probably go back to playing the actual game. Because I like I cannot. If the rec if the initial recording doesn't sound good with this type of recording, I can't make it sound good later. Like I can't go back and post and fix it. Like it's kind of like even my microphone sucks. Like we all need better microphones. Uh, so once everybody sounds good, if, like once as soon as we can do one of these kinds of things and everybody actually sounds good, then I'll start like we'll start doing the pod, the pod podcast again. Marlon's winning right now. He's ahead of all of us. <laughs> Yeah, he is. Yeah, he actually has a new microphone. It already does sound it, like to me. It sounds better, but it's more like even if it sounds good to us, it's like once we go back and actually like li like I listen to it, that's where I'm like I can tell if it's good or bad. Also, another announcement. Wondo. Uh, Wondo. All right, <laughs> all right Ma uh, Malcolm, are you remotely interested in us playing a game of Call of Cthulhu? What is that? Okay. Uh, oh, apparently it's pronounced the Cthulhu mythos, not mythos, apparently. Uh, but anyway, uh, basically, uh, and I feel like this, Malcolm, I was thinking originally about, um, oh, let me change this real quick. Blah, 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 blah. Where'd it go? I saw it like two seconds ago. Where, where is it? Oh, there it is. Um, put it like this. Uh, originally, I was going to surprise you guys to a degree and be like, hey, we're running this game and I was going to give you each character sheet and the character sheets were going to be you. Like, I was going to make stats for you guys and you guys were going to... Essentially, it's it's a it's a it's essentially a survival horror game. It's an... Or, let me rephrase it. An investigative mystery horror game. Um, I'll play. Huh? I'll play. <laughs> That's yeah. it. I'll play. I mean, basically, but you play a... Here's the thing, though. There's different versions of it we can play. Uh, the traditional version is you play normal people who just have to solve mysteries and you can, you're either going to die or go insane more than likely. Like that's actually part of the game. Like you, like one bullet, you're out. Like you have to actually, you have to play like you're a real person because like, or if you get injured really badly, you're going to be in the hospital for four weeks. Like that's the way the game is. So you're supposed to play like much more carefully. Like you have to actually care about yourself and survive. Um, it does. But, but there is a version where it's more like it's called pulp, and it's more like 
yeah, there's scary things trying to kill you, but you could probably fight. It's kind, of, it's kind of like the difference between like uh, I'm trying to think of a. But it's sort of like Indiana Jones. You go, it's almost like Indiana Jones, where like you have a chance that like you're doing crazy stuff and surviving and fighting back. What Dylan? Oh, my favorite rapper dropped an album. That's great. <laughs> His name is Fly Reacts. <laughs> That's nice. Well, I, I'm, I'm not going to get up to that anyway. Um, I mean, good for you if that's actually your favorite rapper. Uh, but also, as far as the Call of Cthulhu thing goes, but and, and I'm telling you guys this now so you guys can think about it. So we either play the super realistic one or we play the one where you guys are more adventurous and you can actually fight back. But there's also, and here's the different settings. There's the traditional one is 1920. We can also play 1890. We can also play modern day. We can play cowboys. We can play ancient Rome. We can play French Revolution. We can play the future in space. We can, like there's like all these different war, like time periods we can play. Let's the be game. ancient Rome. You like ancient Rome? Ancient Rome or the future Rome? Okay, but like I said, we'll figure it out. We'll we'll all figure it out how we want to play, and then we'll work on from there. Because remember, I have to learn whatever we, sh we decide to play. I have to read like a. 400 page book to learn how to do it Jesus. Uh, yeah I mean that's what I did with Dungeons and Dragons I had to read like 800 plus pages <laughs> to know how to run the game uh, the other thing I was going to say uh, oh and by the way when we do the Call of Cthulhu thing we're going to by then I'm going to learn how to do OBS and we're probably going to stream it on Twitch so and everybody's going to have their own little square with like their stats and all that and like I said and, oh Marlin are you interested in doing and making me art stuff for that? Yeah, I, I was uh, was going to mention that because Trini told me. Yeah. Uh, like, so what what was it that you're like trying to? Well, do? you know when people do that when they like have the little squares and they have the background image and all that kind of stuff. Like the square, the square. Each person's square has like a frame around it that looks and it looks unique or whatever. And there'll be like maybe like a little circle for their character's picture, like stuff like that. Like, I, you, hmm. like basically just go just go on Twitch and look at any sort of Dungeon and Dragons game and most of them have it set up that way. Like even Critical Role. Like if you just look at the way they do Critical Role, like there's usually each person has a frame, except theirs is a little more sleek. A lot of people like and then they have like a background image. My point is I either have to use stock images or one of you can come up with something that's more interesting. And I and if you if any of you Give me something that I can use. I will literally pay you to do it. So whoever wants to take up that challenge. I want to edit. That's what I want to do. Do you have any of the software? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I want to edit the podcast. Like, like, okay, let me ask you this, Malcolm. Can your computer – this is this is a real thing because Jordan wants to edit too. Like one – I'll one, fight epi for it. <laughs> one episode of the podcast literally is between 15 and 20 gigabytes each. Yeah, your computer tries. Oh. Oh, well, well, the really thing is, is not only can your computer handle it, but I would literally have to pay for cloud storage to put it there, and then you'd have to take it. Because right now, like my cloud storage only holds but like a few gigabytes. So it's like, that's why it's like a whole... So, you know how much when you were editing like the beginning of that one podcast that's what i mean like i want to do like that the whole Wait. sound thing i want to do that that looked difficult well that's what i asked. i mean but to, to, uh, the video that i uploaded to youtube that alone was 10 gigabytes yeah i want to do that oh okay well i mean once again we, i'd still have to be able to get it to you which it's it, of course it's massive when you're and i remember i add i added more to it like I added sound, I added I added a bunch of stuff to it. Despite the fact I barely know what I'm doing, I still added stuff. Yeah, you know how much uh, gigabytes I got. I got a terabyte. In what? In the PS4. No, you don't. <laughs> yes, I do. Trey, don't we have a terabyte hard drive? You have a, you have an external hard drive plugged into it. Exactly, a terabyte. Okay. Anyway. Wait. Uh, so can you uh, hmm? can you uh edit it on the PS4? Edit what? No, no, you can't. No. Uh, anyway, uh, I mean, that's not a terrible question. It's just you can't. Uh, oh, and Malcolm, do you remember uh, at one of our old uh, 
uh, one of the uh, old recordings uh, when you started, like it was when I first started learning how to play music in the headphones and you started freestyling. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be our ad. Because <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the episode of editing right now and I've been needing to make an ad. I was like, okay, because there's two, there's two things. First, you start freestyling, but then I interrupted by going like, it's Casey Jones, the like whatever I did. But then later on, music is playing, and, Val and Marlon says, hey, freestyle this. You're like, it's impossible. But then Trinity starts going like, going downtown, going downtown. I'm going to use all of that, and it's going to become the ad for our, our game. Do I talk about the game in it? Yeah, you say something like, we play a and d, &D. I'm going to go get some meat or something like that. I think you said a Ew. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get some meat. But, I mean, but either way, uh, it's like it, it actually it actually sounds good. Like the audio is actually really crisp and clear. So I was like, okay, like we can. And, and also, when I come, when I interrupt you by by making it sound like a DJ, like coming in from a song, all of you like die laughing. It just sounds good for an ad. Yeah. And so I'm probably gonna say something to the effect of like, our game inspires creativity, and then whatever. My point is, I'm lazy and it sounds good, so I'm using it as the ad. Our game inspires love. Uh, oh, something it's something that I'm actually going to borrow from uh, the actual, because I am reading the rules for Call of Cthulhu. Okay, and this will apply to any, just about any game we play from here on out. I'm going to allow you guys to do this. All right, you know, everybody, you roll, you roll, and you don't roll as good as you wanted. You're like, hey, can I just try again? You know, like, Dylan does that especially, like, everybody wants to do that. Yeah. This is a thing. The next time you guys want to do that, I will allow it. And in Call of Cthulhu, that's called push a roll. It's called pushing a roll. But here's the thing. If you fail that second time, the, the consequences are way worse. So Dylan, like, you willing to take that yeah. risk, bro? And, and put it like this. Like, in the game, and, and you also have to explain what you're doing differently that, they, that, that justifies the extra roll. So it's like, like okay, like, for example... And I, we kind of did this already. Remember when Dylan was trying to open up that chest and he kept failing at it? And eventually I yeah. said the chest got so beat up he could never open it again. That That's a good example. Like, it was like, but I really want to open it. I was like, okay, roll again. And I, and I basically said the reason it sucked is he just kept hitting it till it like it actually crushed it to where it looked. I don't know. It's something like that. So it would be like uh, if you said, I want to climb down this bill. I want to climb down. Like I'm in, I'm in the top, like on the third story of a house and I want to get down. And you roll really badly to get down the house. You can go, okay. Well, this time I'm going to tie some bed sheets together and try to go out that way. That's pushing the roll. But but if you mess up, the bed sheets might snap. Uh, there might be like a angry dog waiting at the bottom of the alley waiting for you. Like there's always like something worse that's going to happen. Or you might succeed, but there's a cost. Like oh yeah, you did it, but you also sprained your ankle. Yeah, like something like that. I don't. Know. So if you guys ever say. Uh... <laughs> 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 what just happened? I didn't see. You just completely froze. <laughs> oh, oh, on my end, I didn't see that. So I didn't Sorry, internet. Oh yeah. Uh, oh, what was that? Trinity, do the small arms thing. Now that people are watching. Make your arms small. Oh. I hear you. You froze for me too. <laughs> okay, that's see, that's bad. See, that's gonna make recording these podcasts suck. Like, <laughs> this is really creepy. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like she has baby arms. <laughs> it gets weirder and weirder the longer she does it. <laughs> Look at this. You wanna be friends? No. Wanna go to Taco Bell? No. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> Trinity, look. Man, why is my back Get that back? out of there! <laughs> 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 what happened? Out of there. He showed a salt lamp, and I'm allergic to. Oh, the I, didn't, I didn't see it. I was. <laughs> it's on. No, it's probably for five below. 
what is this thing doing? Stop. Never going in your house again. All right, it's it's good. There we go. Okay, I'm ready to play now. Just because you're allergic don't mean everybody else is. <laughs> oh, he has, look at him, he's cool. That's so cool. <laughs> Wait, how do you have what? Lame. There's fil there's filters. I can also I can also uh what's the other one I can do that's uh, ridiculous? Oh, what is this one? Oh, butterflies. No, oh yeah, Malcolm, look, this one's funny. Okay, all right, so I'm safe for COVID, right? Now it's a halo. Mask. Now you're dead. Halo. <laughs> yes, halo. Now you're dead. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I did. I now did. you're dead. Anyway, uh, I could also wear Wait. a mask. Incognito. <laughs> Nobody knows it's me. <laughs> I'm on stage. Ew. I, I, <laughs> what movie is that? Wait, where is? Yeah, it's it's under it's under the uh, where it says like stop video. There's if you click the little arrow, there's a lot of options. I had to download the filters. I just uh, see Background. But yeah, those are the things I was going to talk about. Like I said, so you know, if you guys ever want to do that kind of, if you guys want to uh, push, we can do that push. Uh, okay, so now we will get back into the game. What do you guys remember? What were we doing before? Uh, we just we got right where we yeah we just showed up to the ruin. We killed all the Karens. Yeah, we killed yeah. The, the, the one Karen, and we yeah. also hate the guy with the rod now. Now we despise him. Yeah. No. We I remember I was getting like really powerful items before we left, but you and now it. we're all like super powerful. That's what yep. I remember. So if you could just incorporate that into the game, <laughs> sure, I'll do. That. I'll do that in post. All right, so are we ready? All right, so uh, we're already recording, and uh, so yeah, you guys find yourselves in front of. Let me find the thing. Yeah, you gotta find yourself in front of the large wall. Uh, once again, it's broken; it's falling apart. Uh, there, as of right, like in fact, we might just start all over from the beginning. As of right now, you see all those. You see, and once again, they're kobolds. They're like little, like small dragon-like people. Uh, they're start. They're just starting to close the door, uh, and they clearly are getting ready for you guys to attack. Whether or not you attack, that is up to you. Uh, and if, if you guys want, does everybody just want to roll fresh, uh, like, uh, and blah, 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 blah. do you guys want to roll for initiative or y'all going to try something else? Um, I'm, I'm going to turn invisible. Okay. I mean, okay. So, okay. So that for you, that's easy enough. We'll just say you turn invisible. I'm pretty sure you yes, were sir. invisible at the end of last game anyway. Uh, what they're like, are, 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 but I, I, what I'm asking is, are you guys going to try to run through an attack or are you guys trying to, and in fact, if I remember correctly, whew, if I remember correctly, um, Grease, he's already, uh, in rage mode. Yes. Uh, all right. So everybody, everybody just roll in, everybody just roll initiative. Let's just do that. Cause technically, oh, let's just, that's what 20, that's what 20. You, uh, you, uh, but what's the uh, add your dexterity? Alexa, roll a d twenty. <laughs> Fifteen. All right. Wait, what? Do, what's the initiative one yeah, again? The add your dexterity. Dexterity, yeah, that's what it is. Dex, dex. Oh, no, that doesn't count. There you go. I got eleven. Bro, what is that garbage? I got eight. Hold on, I'm trying to find my dexterity. It's uh, uh, I think I rolled like, uh, hold on. Did you say twenty thirteen? No, I know. Dexterity. Eight. Eight. Sorry. My dexterity is yeah. twenty four, so I rolled a fifteen. You said you rolled a natural twenty. No, I was joking. Oh, Jesus, boy, what'd you roll in a fifteen? Just, I like uh, rolled it. Down. Like, if, I don't know if you see me. I like rolled it. I was like, boom, that's just one. Anyway, uh, no, I wasn't looking because I'm looking at like a million other things, including my notes. Uh, well, put it like this: they rolled all. Basically, they rolled lower than all of you. So, as lo each one of you can just tell me what you're doing leading up to like, and I will say, when you got when you guys uh, you guys get once again the door's not completely closed. You're not quite sure how many there are, but there's at least. 
creatures on the other side of this wall. So what do you guys uh, like? Mm. And, and the person who goes, for, uh, who has a higher dexterity, uh, Grease or um, Argos? Um, wait, did I get the highest roll on initiative? Nope, but you and uh, Dylan are tied. So whoever has the higher dexterity gets to go first. I got plus four. Uh, plus this, this, okay, then uh, then uh, you go first, Dylan. You go first, Argos. Uh, <laughs> well, you, okay, we'll just say you're already invisible because I don't remember what happened last time. So what are you doing with your invisible uh, self? I'm going to go, like, so wait, do I see the enemies? Okay, like, if you're looking on D20, or, blah, 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 if you're looking on roll 20, yeah, that's pretty much what you see. You could... You can see that they're starting to close those doors, and you can see there's at least ten people moving around inside. There's the two guys. There's, oh, there's several. There's several of them closing the doors, and the rest of them are like they're getting like they know you guys are there, and they're getting ready to attack. Wait, what happened? Hold on. <laughs> you you like, you being cut out? I couldn't hear what you say. Oh, yeah, see, this, yeah, that's always going to be a problem with this thing. Uh, what I'm saying is, you know that they're getting ready for you to attack, and so you have to, like, tell me what you're doing. And, like, oh, can I, can I run through the door? Yeah. and I'll, I'll, Okay, you're you're invisible, but if you're running, you still need to roll a uh, stealth. Are you still trying to be stealthy? Yeah. Okay, just so you know, like, I know I'm not, like, putting figures or anything on the map, but... If you just run straight in there, what, what, uh, real quick, what, tell me, just tell me what you're trying to do. What are you trying to do? I just, uh, I really don't know. I'm just trying to like sneak around and like see what like everything I see. Okay, okay, okay. So we'll just say you run through the doors. Uh, and real quick, okay, before I say that, roll a perception check real quick. Ooh, I got it. Twelve. Twelve. Uh, I will say. Wait, twelve plus perception. Hold on. Yes, or or plus uh, wisdom. Hmm. Bro, come on, guys. Got it. Like not not Dylan, but 13. everybody else. Oh, what? Dylan? Thirteen. 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 I will. I will say that's good enough because it's not like a super high roll. There are holes in the wall that are small enough for you to fit through. You don't have to go through the door. I, I, oh, the, reason, okay. the reason I'm telling you is if you go through the door, you're going to be surrounded by things that can hurt you. Oh, I forgot I'm not Galactus, so yeah, I'm going to go yeah, through the door. Yeah, you're literally tiny. So, what are you going to do? I'm going to go through the, like a hole in the wall. Hole in the wall! Okay, real quick, why do I keep getting the bleep bleep noise? That's so funny? stupid. Yeah, I keep hearing that too. I don't know what that is. Like, who's doing something? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. It's getting on <laughs> my nerves. Oh, no. I, didn't mean to do that. I don't know how to. I don't know how to stop that noise from happening either. You know, I have a better KD than Malcolm in Modern Warfare. Wow, that's so cool. I know. Oh, oh. <laughs> a lie. No, it's not. I have a 1.10. Oh, <sighs> Anyway, uh, okay, so what are you going to You said you're going to go through one of those holes? Yeah. Okay, I, uh, you go through the hole. Yeah. And you don't have to roll stealth? Yeah, still roll stealth. Yeah, still roll, uh, roll stealth with advantage because you're invisible. My stealth is high. I know, and roll twice because uh, roll with advantage because you're. Let's go. I'm trying. I'm trying to like open up the map a little bit more for you guys, because you guys, you got like, especially for uh, our gods, you would see at least this much. I got 26. Uh, yeah, that's yeah. You're, hey, you 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 feel very confident that you're hidden. Uh, but what I'll say now that you're in there, uh, you can easily see, easily easily see that there are. Um, at the very least, you see. What you, what you would consider like eight regular kobolds, like they're uh, and what I mean by that is like they're, they've got like really simple weapons on and like next to no armor at all. Um, in fact, some, most of them are just almost like wearing rags, and they're like I said, they don't even have like they have like small weapons, like maybe daggers or slings. Uh, but you also see uh, there are two kobolds 
hiding by like because they're so small they're both holding up a really large shield like the two of them are hiding behind that you see another kobold who's covered in all sorts of like weird like thing he's got like a sack he's got a box he's got a he's got a big staff he's got all this random stuff and you absolutely see uh above you two kobolds who actually have wings and they're both carrying they're both starting to fly up they're just starting to fly up and they both have like uh they're both carrying heavy rocks Heavy rocks? Yes. Are they, can I use my uh, intelligence to see they're going to drop the rocks on them? I mean, you could you can figure that out on your own. Yeah, that's... I mean, once again, you're, you're smart enough to just figure that out. Yeah, that's what it looks like they're preparing to do. And I use my intellect. So, <laughs> you, you use your natural real-life... Hello, Vinny. It's, I'm trying to find a way. Is there something I could, like... Is there something big? Oh, and by the way, Dylan, I don't know if you've looked, but your person does have sneak attack. Like, if you sneak attack, you can hurt people. Oh, yeah, I know that. I'm just making sure you remember. Hey, Dad, I'm, my question is, hmm. is there something, can I see if there's anything above them that's loose? Uh -oh. that that can, something, <laughs> can I see if, any, if there's anything above them that's, like, loose, kind of? Like oh, like, you, you're, you wanna, do you want to climb on top of the wall and try to push something on top of them? Yeah. Okay, you're gonna have to do a athletics check for that to climb up. I mean, I'm pretty athletic, so not your real character. The part we're at right now, oh, this is not... the map, right? The map that I'm showing, yeah. Okay, just making sure. Yeah, you, like except except for our guys, nobody else has gone inside the courtyard yet. Do me to roll. Uh, yeah, and add either strength or athletics. Bro, my strength is so low. It's plus... I know it is. You're the one that decides you wanted to climb something. Whoa. I'm gonna use my ring of jumping. Yeah, which you don't have. Right here. Uh, I got a uh, 13 plus one 14. <laughs> okay, uh, let, let's just put it this way: between your small size and these walls do have some height to them, it's gonna t remember because you already went inside the hole and now you're trying to climb up. Uh, what What are you trying? Like, I'll say you get up to the top of it, but that's the end of your turn. Because because you're you're not an expert at climbing, so it takes you're small, so it takes you a lot longer to get to the top, and you didn't roll very high. Uh, all right. Okay, but yeah, once you go up there, yeah, there there are some loose stones up there, but they're also bigger than you, so it might be hard for you to push. Um, all right, so next is Greece. Greece, you are in a blood rage. What are you going to do? I'm gonna attempt. No, I'm go, gonna Glizzy. I, what is that noise? I guess. Is my dog either, I think it's Marlon's oh, dog. Oh, yeah, I was like, I think it's Toby. Like, what a, you're a noise. <laughs> Toby. Uh, okay, so the gate, they're closing the gate. Yeah, they're in the process Stranger of. Uh, things. I am missing a song. Who, who? <laughs> is a song? I took it. I did it anyway, but anyway, but yeah, you could tell they're in the. They haven't closed it yet, but like the idea is that these wall, these doors are pretty large and heavy, and it's literally two two. Co it takes two kobolds to start pushing the door, and they're slowly like by the by the end, maybe the end of next turn, it'll be completely closed. And, uh, do they know I'm in there? No, what well, you don't know, you just know that you rolled really high. Um, wait, I'm saying. Is that music too loud, guys? No. No, it's good. To me, it's actually pretty loud. That's so I'm like, Ugh. but I can hear you guys, so it's fine. Uh, if I want to run around to the side and like climb up, uh, I'll tell you the same thing I did with him. Like, oh, you gotta remember, you're literally blood raging right now, so you're a little bit crazy. So if you try to like, what, what are you trying? Just tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe no. Like run over to like the side, cause I. I don't want to run it right there. Well, like, wait, wait, real quick, you said the side, the side of what? Here is the, hold on. Like, over here. Is it gonna? All right, you gotta press and hold. You gotta click and hold. Oh, you're not even inside yet. Oh, wait, this is, wait a minute. You, yeah, you guys are all, remember, the thing you just killed was like right here. Oh, wait, yeah. this is the side I want to run over to, over here. Sorry, it was, it was zoomed in. Okay, well, okay, re uh, real quick, what do you remember about your blood rage? Or what does the thing uh, say? Face blood, they enter blood rage that will not end until a full round is spent. 
devouring flesh of one kind. There's nothing to attack with invisible range for one Yeah, I can tell you right now, there is nothing over there that you would want to attack or eat. Oh yeah, this is until then the gnoll will single single mindedly seek out food or fight. Yeah. The, 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 yeah, that everything that you want to fight or eat is it through that gate. And remember, you're not that smart. I mean, so like you're not like you're not gonna like, ooh, I'll I'll tactically. I mean, I'm just I'm just once again, this is your character. Your character is a frenzied, ma like mangy animal who just can't wait to like tear things apart. Ah! See, th oh. This is the reason I did it because you always want to play clever <laughs> characters. I was like, no, this time you're gonna play a character that's just that you're you're Great. the you're yeah you're the Dylan of the group right now. You just want to attack things. Uh. And, okay, real quick, roll a roll a. Your your guy has a plus in survival, right? Roll a survival check. That's something your guy's actually good at. Isn't this like a big old hole to just walk through? <laughs> Which one? I'm like pimping yeah, yeah. Right it, now. It, it, well, you it's still like you still have to climb over some rubble, but yeah, it's a pretty big hole though. Huh. Uh. Sixteen. That is more than enough for you to remember that these little creatures, these little lizard people, are really easy to eat. Like, like, it, like, snacks. yeah, like, like you, you've eaten these things before, and they're they don't they don't they're you've take you can easily take down quite a few of these things. You're not you put it like this. You're not scared of them. Well, shoot. They close in the gate, right? Yeah, but they're like you could easily get through. Like they, like it's literally in the pro like if it, if this is an open gate, they've only gotten like this far. Like it's not even like completely closed yet. Like they're they're like Eah! they're like try like they're they're struggling to close this like big door. I want to run in. And... Wait, that would be my whole action is running in there, right? No, you can run in and attack. I'm gonna run in and attack the one on the right. Close Good enough. To... Roll, roll for attack. And remember, and remember any of your modifiers that go along, because you, when you're raging, you get modifiers. I think it's the damage, but Dylan, you're the you're the you're the regular barbarian. Is that doesn't he get a uh, damage to attack or to damage? Yeah, no, you think about uh, what you say. Never mind. <laughs> or, I mean, I say when when a, when a barbarian attacks, don't they get a bonus to damage? Yeah. Okay. Wait, yeah, they get like a plus two. Well, you do, yeah. yeah I do. Uh, wait, so he, so he's a, a barbarian? No, es 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 essentially, he's a barbarian. Yeah. Oh, you're just a blue-legged one. Shh. It's a foo foo. You're not like Galactic. You know what? I want a different song. You're not blue-legged. Like. Stay. That song is too loud to me for some reason. I need a pencil. I like this character, Dad. What'd you roll? Oh, what are you? Oh no, he left. He went pencil. to go pencil. I need a pencil. Ah! I need yeah, a I like pencil, dog. I like this character, Dad. What? I like this little character, you know? Yeah, you got a neat little character. And like I said, don't be afraid, guys, to say something extra you want to do, because, like, this isn't a true, true D&D &D game, so you can, like, make up stuff as you go. Um, what you, so what you um I want to grow big old legs and hop through the fence. So... Uh, I gotta roll. I'm gonna do the multi attack. Well, yeah, but roll your first attack. Just roll the first one. Oh, uh, 18. 18? Yeah. That, de that definitely hits. Go ahead and roll damage. I'm beat Topia. Dog wants to, yeah, he won't stop barking, bro. <laughs> Gonna seize. This is plus six to hit. Oh, so you know. So when you roll your thing, you roll it like. Okay, your your thing should say. Oh, I get it. I get it. I got okay. it. Okay. Um, wait. Damage. Okay, so eighteen plus six. Okay, so that hits anyway. That definitely hits. Oh, yeah. you rolled a natural eighteen. Yeah. Oh God, yeah, that really hits. But you roll a one. Or this is for your sword. This is for the bite. Oh, you want to do the bite first? Yeah. Okay, that's a 1d4 plus 4. 
three plus four is seven. One D four. Oh, you did it. Okay. So yeah, like it, basically your very first attack, your very first bite, you just snap, you snatch his head almost clean off. Yeah. And so I re remember all your, so not only, put up, remember your stuff, not only do you still have your other two attacks, but now you get, if you can reach another creature within the next round, you get yeah. another attack. Oh, wait. Oh, next round. No, no, I mean, I mean right now. I'm sorry, like right now. But remember, there's four guys really close to each other all trying to push this door closed. Yep. Or they all get advantage on you. Or, or he can just keep attacking them. So then, <laughs> wait, I'm reducing to zero hit points. So then I can move half speed and make another yeah. attack. That's what so I'm telling you. You you still have your other two sword attacks, and you have another sword attack. Yeah, so then I attack the one pushing the other door to my left. Well, uh, yeah, okay. Also, you're just going back and forth. Yeah, I, like, jump on that one, rip his head off, and then, like, turn around and jump on the other one. Sure. <laughs> Go ahead. Roll, roll for another sword. Now, now you're, they're your sword attacks. Yeah. 12. A 12? Yeah. That That's that's their armor class. Yeah, you, you hit this one, too. Go ahead and roll damage. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> These guys are not hard to hit. <laughs> Six. That that's enough to take about. Yeah, this one you just you you basically like you cut from you cut from like the side of his shoulder down to his arm. And almost not completely like his body's still attached, but he's he's gone. And you still have you still have two more of them very close to you that you could easily attack. Aren't two of them in the air? You said. Yeah, but they're not they're not within that within that mo that movement you could do. You can't quite get to them. But remember, remember, there's two. Like, remember the two double doors? There's two yeah. each pushing those doors. So you still have two more guys, re like, within really close to you. I go back to my right and get the other one. Yeah, on the right. you're, you're literally a cop scotching between these guys. That's fine. Dang. <laughs> or, you know, like in Batman Arkham Asylum, when he literally like, leaves. Yeah, he like, oh, like, yeah. He just flips. <laughs> <laughs> he, like, flies, like, 30 feet to hit the other guy. So, um, yeah, roll another attack. 12 plus 6. That hits. And then... Two plus four, so six again. That takes him out. You're like, you're like, you bite one, you slash the other. The next one, same thing. You slash him. He's flying in the air, and what? While, while he's still in the air, you can go after the next one. <laughs> yeah, I like slash him, and I like jump off his body and go and like pounce on the other one. Yeah, you're way bigger than these guys. They're small. <laughs> this boy eating. I like pounce on the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but I'll say that these are the four that are like the ones that with within your range. So yeah, you go ahead and take out the other one. Girl, the other. 11 20. plus six. A what? Eleven plus six. So That's, I hit. That definitely hits. Yeah. And then two plus six again. So that takes. Or two, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you take, go ahead and describe how you take out four of these guys very quickly. Hey, ah. the whole squad. Ah. <laughs> Let's see. All right, so I run in there. You bite the first one. I jump on the first one, rip his head off with my teeth. Then I look behind me, and I like quick, like like a dash, yeah. and like just slash him just up like that, like slash upwards. And then I turn around, run back to the other one. And slides downwards, and then I turn around and go back to the other one, <laughs> and just like I just gut him basically. That's fine. Yeah, you you excavate him, <laughs> guts over like that. Yeah, but we'll we'll say for for because nobody it. else is close enough to you. Like so, we'll just say that's not the end of your turn. But yeah, you just like you know, and you're still you're not, in your blood rage. So I do my hyena howl. I'm like, oh, <laughs> <laughs> I remember. Yeah. I'm like licking the blood on my sword. Yeah, you just like. Yo. Uh, mm -hmm. Next, next is Argos. Oh wait, wait, you already went. Sorry. Uh, next is uh, uh, th 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 Crowley. Crowley. I like watched all that happen. Like, <laughs> I, like you throw up. Like okay, so with, like with your helmet on. <laughs> I was like running too, right? And I just see Greece just like fly by me and took him out all quick, and I'm like, 
Remind me not to go against him. <laughs> like, oh, no, I can't do that. So I finally make it past the door to see what's happening on the other side. Yeah, and, and, you, and, you can, and you can see, once again, easily you can see that there are, now that there's four of them taken down, there are four more kobolds like that, but they're, like, hiding behind various rubble, so they've got, like, a little bit of cover. There are two, well, from your point of view, it just looks like two, uh, like a large shield being held up. You can't really see what's behind it. Uh, you see another kobold with a whole bunch of, like, essentially, like, gadgets all over his body. And you see two winged kobolds flying really close above your head. Like, they're, like, oh, not directly above you, but they're kind of coming towards, they're flying towards your direction. Uh, they're freaking mega minions, bro. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's see. What can I do? I'm going to look at what a kobold looks like. How many... So, like, are there, like, anybody, like, near me at the moment? Because <laughs> he just took them all out, like, right here, right? Well, like, tell me what you want to do, and we'll just... It's, it's very theater of mind. So if you just describe something kind of cool that you have in mind, but it's more than likely to do it. No! <laughs> all right, well, um... <laughs> what? What? This picture of... <laughs> This picture of a, I taped it cobalt and one of someone made it a dog. So it's a little cute dog with a stick. <laughs> I was like, wait, are we fighting that? No. Oh yeah, Malcolm, have you seen have you seen how my arm looks? What the heck just happened to you? What happened to you? Oh, nobody told you I got attacked by some dogs. What? Yeah, oh I, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been attacked I by didn't dogs. Tell him. Yeah, I've been out of, I've been out of work for like a whole week. Um, I'm, I, I'm actually pretty oh badly. Dog. I'm actually pretty badly injured, to be honest. Learn this. I don't know who the artist is. So you go pseudo. <laughs> so you're fighting little dogs with sticks. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it would look like if uh, Grease had a baby with one of them. <laughs> but yeah, the rest of them are like lizards with the dog. <laughs> All right, sorry. What were you doing, Marlon? What's what's Crowley doing? Or what do you um, want to do? Let's see. At the moment, I don't know what to do. So um, I'm just going to cast Sacred Flame on one of the flying dudes. <laughs> okay. Uh, and I will say, like, once again, this isn't like strictly by the rules. If you guys just want to hold your turn in this, I'm fine with that. This isn't a normal game of d d But uh, you just want to do Sacred Flame? Yeah. Yeah. And just remember, I'm going to let you guys reset <laughs> your spells several times. During so you don't have to, like, hoard your spells if you don't really want to. You can, like, do I get glimpsed of Torporal Flood back yet? I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, I still haven't figured out. I might have you like a rolling 1d10 or something because 1d6, good guy, a 1 in 6 chance of getting it every time. No, that's too much. It's too much. I heard what? <laughs> okay, th yeah, this is gonna be a problem. We gotta get a better way of recording stuff. Or we'll just fly you guys out here and we'll just play the game in person. Um, How much is the ticket right now? 200 bucks? I got that. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. Oh, oh, so we flexing money. <laughs> Get back on the chair. All right, uh, so you, okay, well, so what do they have to beat for your uh, sacred play? Um, well, like that's one paycheck. Dexterity <laughs> saving throw, but I don't know the number or anything. Uh, it doesn't it matter because they didn't make it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> rolled, cool. Whatever it is, it, it can't be as low as I rolled. I rolled a uh, two on damage. Just the two. Yeah. Uh, I will say, like you know, you kind of like essentially, you kind of sort of like snap your feet well as much as you can in your armor you kind of like do like a snapping motion and uh and the creature like a flash of flame like fl like kind of overcomes them but like uh but it recoups itself and it's still flying but it definitely now it's very much very if it wasn't already aiming at you it's definitely going after you now fun yeah so uh i end my turn <laughs> Uh, that's all turn you're like, so basically, you're like roughly in the entrance way. You're like near the entrance way. Yeah. Okay. Uh, next is uh, what are you doing, uh, Haras? First of all, I gotta go in there because I can't see. Okay. I go in. Okay. You step. Uh, you step in. Uh, do you go past Crowley or do you kind of stay? Because and you, once you step in there, you see the same thing everybody else sees. Like no, no, none of the, none of them are very well hidden. So, how much would you say these people weigh? Ah, uh, they weigh very. They over, uh, here. I'll, I'll, I will look up an official weight. How much does a kobold weigh? Thirty pounds at the most. Oh, never mind. A 
Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, never mind. Again, I just said saw something. I wanted to use Mage Hand, but it says it can't attack. <laughs> well, yeah. And then it said carry more ten. ten yeah, it can't do more pounds. than ten pounds. Yeah. Once <laughs> again, you guys, you guys can push the limits of stuff in this. I'm fine with that. But yeah, that's what. What were you trying to do with Mage Hand? What were you trying? To do? I don't know. I just wanted to grab one and slam it. <laughs> That, that's, a, that's a spell called telekinesis if you don't have that. Okay. Um, I guess I'm going to go up to him whack him with my staff. <laughs> uh, by, real quick, do you actually see how you're rolling? You're like, you're a person so weak, you have a negative to when you attack. <laughs> Wait, let me see this. What attack did Rich Five? But my glimpse of temporal flood isn't ready. <laughs> no, it's not. So I can't. You have that. other spells. <laughs> yeah, but they just do. They. It's not the same. <laughs> they don't. Nothing. I, the temporal flood, like glimpse the temporal flood. <laughs> I this, guess this, I can, this is why I can't let you have you'll just get, you'll just abuse that one spell over and over ah. again. Okay, then I guess I'll flip it uh mind slope or someone. That's fine. What yeah, I was like trying to uh, though I, I only have like two ones that can attack attack. But yeah, I guess I'm gonna mind what does it say? The target must take an intelligent saving throw. The target takes one D six psychic damage. What what do they have to be? Um it doesn't say. It just says. I'm pretty sure I sent you guys what it is by now, but because uh, all of you said that last time, you're like, "Oh, I don't know what it is." And so I, but anyway, uh, or I told you, and I told you to write it down. Yours is a DC 14. Yeah, it don't say that anywhere on here. No, you did. I'm pretty sure I sent that to you, but anyway, uh, or I told you to write it down. Either way, it's a 14. Uh, Crowley, I think yours is 14 also. Uh, I'm almost positive. Yeah. Crowley, yours is a 14 also. Uh, but anyway, uh, it actually, it just beat your save. It rolled a 14. So, yeah, you try, you 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 put your for hand, hand to your forehead, you point, what, who are you pointing at? It doesn't really matter, but who are you pointing at? I guess who's closest to me. <laughs> okay, well, either way, they shake their head, and they're back to being, they're fine. All right, so now it's their turn. Uh, it's their turn, and uh, basically we're going to do this, I'm going to try to do this relatively quickly, because there's a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> there's still a lot of them. Um, the ones, let's see here, let me make sure I'm looking at the right thing. Alright, so basically, uh, the ones that are like both holding up that shield, they're actually going to run at you, uh, they're actually going to roll at da -da 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 uh, Grease, and they're gonna try to. They're basically trying to bum rush you with this shield. Uh, <laughs> they roll a natural one. Uh, so basically, the two of them try to carry this very large shield that's too heavy for them. As they're running towards you, they completely trip and both like fall. Like the shield falls on the ground. They both land on it. And uh, the shield actually has a magical feature, so I'm going to make this happen. If they had hit you with it, the shield was actually going to propel you away from them. But since they tripped, hit the ground, it's going to make both of them bounce up into the air. Oh, my God. So yeah, <laughs> it's like a comical, like, whoop, whoop, whoop. That's what uh, they finna look like. <laughs> like, like I'll, yeah, that's so basically, they fought, it doesn't kill them, but they both fly up in the air about a good five, five feet, maybe six, seven feet, and they both fall on the ground. So they're they're near the shield, but they're both they're both prone and on the ground, and they failed completely. Uh, <laughs> the next, um, the other kobolds, each one of them is going to attack all of you except for our guys because they can't see them. Uh, let's see how they roll. Uh, oh, they actually rolled pretty good. What's everybody's AC right now? There's a thing. 14. 14. Me and my 14. 14. I mean, Glizzy. Okay, what'd you say, Crowley? 16. 16. And what, what are you, Grease? 14. Okay. Uh, actually, every single one of you got hit. Uh, so. Except for me. Well, you, you just take, you just take uh, half damage. Uh, 
Oh, except for our guys. Yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, so each one of you got hit. And basically what these kobolds are doing is they're all, these are the four that are hiding behind like rubble and they're using their slings and like throwing their, they're essentially, you all, you all got hit by rocks. Um, and so the damage on that is, I don't know why it went away. There it is. Uh, the damage isn't really high, but still. Um, uh, Grease. You take six points of damage, lower it by three. It, it basically, you take three points of damage. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Crowley, you take four. You Actually, you take six mm-hmm. points of damage. Uh, Haras, you take five points of damage. It's whack. And, uh, and I'll say, uh, since, they, since they're like more worried about Grease, uh, you, take a, you take another three points of damage, cut it in half, so you literally take one more point of damage. <laughs> yeah, you take one more point of damage. You got hit. Uh, by, you, you got hit by two rocks. How much did I get hit for? Uh, s- five or six. Just I, I forgot. It's five or six. <laughs> I already forgot the number I said. Uh, but yeah, all all of you got pelted pretty good, like either at a, like like a weak spot or your head. But the, it's like it's like it's like little sh- like little crappy kids like throwing ro- like throwing snowballs and then ducking behind rubble. Uh, so that happened. Uh, the two winged kobolds, the one that got hit by Crowley is going to attack Crowley. Uh, he drops a rock on you. Uh, he misses. They're, basically, oh. when you hit him with the, let's say when you hit him with that fire, it threw him off just a little bit. So the rock lands, actually lands next to you. Uh, and so that, and so he's actually, he actually uses the rest of his movement to fly to the wall so he can pick up another like rock off the top of the wall. And just so you know, Argos, he lands very close to you, just so you know. Yes, sir. Hey, but he doesn't know you're there because you rolled really, really high. Yeah, he absolutely. He actually he rolled really good on perception, but he still doesn't know you're there. Didn't you roll like a twenty six? Yeah. Okay. The other one with the rock is gonna try to drop it on Grease. Let's see if he. Uh, yeah, that hits you too, Grease. Oh my god! I mean, <laughs> they're, they're rolling good. They're actually rolling really good. He rolled, he rolled a natural eighteen. He rolled a natural eighteen. Uh, and you get uh, five points of damage. Lower it down to two. I'm about to die. Oh, wait. Exactly. No, you're not. Yeah, look how much life you got. You should be fine. <laughs> oh, you know what I was doing? What? What? He was in beta's health. That's I, what I thought that too. You're looking at beta? I haven't played this game in so long. I freaking was reduct- was was taking it away from my armor class. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> a- <laughs> yeah, all, all, of you, all of you should have a pretty decent amount of health. Yeah, I got um, like six hit points. Can you tell right. me what the damage was again from all of them? I don't oh, know. God. 58. Uh, I think, well, because everything got cut in half. So let's just say all together for you, I think it was like six, seven. Let's just say seven points of damage all together. I, I don't okay. remember. <laughs> I don't really remember. Um, it was something like that. Once everything was cut in half. Oh, excuse me. Uh, and so the, la- the last creature you see, that one kobold, this was like, he's got like a box on his back, he's carrying a pouch, he's carrying a stick, he's carrying all this random stuff. Um, he actually is going to, and he's kind of standing by himself. I mean, he's hiding behind rubble too, but uh, let's see. Uh, okay, he's going to go after, this is a random roll. Yeah, he's going to go after you, Grease. <laughs> oh, good. I scared him off. I well, knew. actually, you know what? Because uh, actually, you no, 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 no. Let him, let him. No, on. actually, what I'm thinking is, really, you and Haras and Crowley are all standing relatively close to each other, so he'll probably get all three of you with this attack. Oh. Um. Uh. Wait a minute. What he does is he throws a he he basically throws a, like a bottle with like this red fl- fluid in it. He throws it at you guys. He lava at us. Uh, well, when it hits the ground, it ex- it like it bursts and like this liquid spreads out. And I need all of you to roll a, uh, all of you just roll a dexterity saving throw. Dexterity saving throw. Even me? Except for you. Just, sorry, just just the three that are standing. Roll the twelve. A twelve. I'm trying to yep. hit the link to look at my thing. It won't load. Okay, I got a six. All right. And Grease, uh, what you get? Load! <laughs> Sorry, it's making me. You got a 20? Yes. All right. Uh, basically, both y- both you 
Uh, okay. But, uh, uh, excuse me. Uh, Crowley, because you're wearing that large stone armor with the fluid lands on you, it kind of, like, you see, like, it kind of, it tries mm. to combust, but it, just, it like, just kind of sputters out on your, on your stuff. Uh, Grease, yeah, <laughs> we'll say it's still, like, you, you avoided it, and the little bit that splashed on you, it just kind of, like, because you're already so greasy, it just kind of, like, doesn't really do a whole lot. But with you, Haras, uh, it actually lands on your, like, nice clothes, like, your relatively, like, nice clothes, and it actually bursts into flame, and uh, you take four points of damage. And uh, it's just, you know, the fire is still there, so if you don't put it, like, your next turn, if you don't put it out, you've still got a fire on you. Like, your, the bottom of your dress right now, or the bottom Sitting of your... Sitting there burning like... <laughs> you keep doing it. <laughs> so it's like a little bit of like basically the flame is starting to go up your like the like it's, it's, it's oh god oh god so you have to like pat out I'm the like, fire how did the sims burn the sims you just are. like ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh god that is. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. i can't move my arms like um, that that was a bad idea um um, um crap what was i gonna say uh so now it is um it's the back of the top of the round. Argos, what are you doing? Well, this really... dude's next to you, right? Yeah. I can't move yeah. my arms. Wait, so the dude's next to me? Uh, yeah, he's yeah, he's he's next to you picking up another boulder or another large rock to drop it on somebody. Can else. I sneak it back in? Yes, you can. All right, what I roll? roll? For I attack. Get... Roll for attack. Uh, you go ahead and do it with advantage. I'm fine with that. You're doing playing sneakily. That's oh. what his character can do. <laughs> All right, let me see my attack. Oh, goodness. I can tell you attack faster. <laughs> uh, some... Are you attacking with your claws? Uh, what, what other weapons? What, what does the most damage? Uh, for right now, let's just say your claws. Uh, you, it's a plus six, whatever you roll. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, then I got 18. That absolutely hits. All right. Six plus 12. Okay, so what I roll next? Uh, you roll a... Well, first roll a 1d4 for damage. A d4? Yeah, and then you roll a... Uh, oh, goodness. Where, and then add a... Uh, for your sneak attack, I can't remember. You know what? I think your sneak attack is 2d6. So roll a 1d4, which is the little pyramid, and then roll 2d6. Cause I'm pretty sure that's what your stealth is. I mean, All right, so I got a, a three with my pyramid. Okay. And then what else? A D6? Two D6. Two D6. So roll a D6 two times? Yeah. And technically, you'll do more stuff than this, but very likely you're going to kill this creature before you need to roll anything else. I did 12 damage in total. Yeah, and you actually, just so you know, you would have done more, but that's that's more. Than, basically, when this creature lands there and he starts to pick up this rock, you jump out, you jump out, which uh, which ends your invisibility, but you just, like, eviscerate his back. You basically almost slice off his wings with your claws, and then he falls off the wall, and he's, like, on the, he splats on the ground. And then I just look above them, I'm like, hey, guys. Yeah, but now you're no longer invisible. Uh, what yeah. else do you want to do? You have movement still. Movements, uh, but you can't. I don't think you can turn invisible because I think that takes your action. Uh, well then I'm gonna just chill. You're just gonna stay no. up there. Let me get down. Uh, it's a pretty tall wall. How are you getting down? Can I? Oh, can I turn into a bat? Uh, that takes. A, that takes. You you used your action to attack. Oh, so you, yeah. Uh, I guess I'm a stater. Yeah, I mean, just so you know, as long as you hide up there, it's hard for things to hit you because you're at the top of this wall. Yeah, wait, I can't hide up there? I'm going to do that. Well, you you can hide behind a rock because you're tiny. Let's just put it that way. Uh, they still know you're there. You are just you just have to hover. Uh, but anyway, uh, so now it is now uh, Grease's turn. Now, just so you know, Grease, uh, everybody else is more spread out now, so it's you can still try to do your crazy attacks, but uh, you will probably be able to get like four guys at one time right now. 
Like if I had if I had to do it, like put it like this. There's probably some guys hiding behind some rubble over here. There's probably some guys hiding behind rubble over here. Uh, the the guy with the the guys with the shield. The guy the two guys with the shield are right in front of you though. You could easily attack them. Can I pick up the shield? Uh, you can, but you uh, just so you know, the shield's pretty big. So if you pick it up, put it like this: if you pick up the shield, not only will that take most of your action, uh, you definitely can't do two-handed swords with the shield. Like, are you? Try- Let me ask you: Are you trying to? Use- what are you trying to do with the shield? What are you trying? To- I wanted to know if I could like keep it and like use it. Yeah, but you try to do that right this second, or? Nah, 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 nah. Yeah, um, I mean, yeah, you guys, you guys can still loot and take stuff when the fight, you know. But it's just if you do it right now, you're going to use your whole action. And remember, you're still in a blood range. You still haven't eaten. Yeah. Um. If you just want to kill and fight right now. I feel like my movement speed should be increased while I'm in blood range. Like, I mean, it, it kind of is. Like when you do those extra attacks, that is your extra movement. Okay. Now put it like this. Okay, put it like this. If there's a creature. Like, okay, if there's a creature not within your range, you can use, instead of attacking, you can still move. To, like, you get what I'm saying? That's how D&D works. Like, you are you would just use your action to get to it also. So where am I? Am I, like, right, like, here? Uh, you're, you're, yeah, you're roughly right there, yeah. So like I said, there's some guys hiding over here. There's some guys hiding on rubble over here. And there's the inventor guy over here. And then there's the two guys. Once again, the two easiest, clearest targets to you are those two guys who just dropped the shield in front of you. And, and they're on the ground, which means you would have advantage on attacking both of them. Can I, like, jump on them? Absolutely. So I get hit with all them rocks, and then they, that's just making me more mad. So yeah. I just jump. I legit, like, jump on top of one that's of them. That's fine, yeah. You can you, you can you can easily attack these two guys. Yeah. Instead of using a bite and a short sword, can I just bite twice? I mean, if you want to. I want to bite twice. <laughs> sure, I, I can allow that. Sure. Uh, nine. Did I hit? Uh, that actually. Wait, did you roll with advantage? Oh no. Yeah, these two guys are on the ground. Would would you do a melee attack against okay, somebody on nine. the ground? It's with advantage. So fifteen. That definitely hits. Yeah, and I would have missed. Um, and then roll for damage. Yeah, it'll probably Three kill. Plus four. Huh? Three plus four is a seven. Yeah, that definitely takes out because they took a little bit of damage when they fell. So yeah, that definitely kills. Them. And then yeah. the other. Let's see if I hit nine plus six, so fifteen. That hits. And then, <laughs> You're probably gonna kill this guy too. Two plus four, so six. That yeah, that yeah. You ba- yeah, you basically you basically with your with you just you tear into them with your mouth both each. So you yeah, technically I like, jump, I like jump and like land on top of one. Yeah, and I like rip his head off, and then the other one. I want him to beg for mercy before I kill him. I, uh. you, you, but you did you kill him? <laughs> like, Jeez. And, and, I was doing that. I'm like mocking him. I'm like, yeah, yeah. you're right. so mean. But I will say, like, between you still have another attack. You did kill a creature, and you're in blood rage. You could reach at least one more creature to attack. Who do you want to go I'm after? I'm about to be playing. All right. Uh, yeah, I wanna, I wanna jump. What's the one? The one closest to whoever's closest to me. Uh, to you, it would either be the inventor who's hiding back here, or be one of those two guys that's hiding over here. Um, I'm going for the inventor. Okay, go ahead. Go after him. And roll attack. This dude probably got... Oh, yeah, let's go. 20. That definitely hits the, the guy. Yeah, that definitely hits him. <laughs> this is with the short sword. So, yeah. 1d6. Mm-hmm. Only 6 damage. Okay. Uh, just so you know, that would have killed a normal kobold. But he, he does have a little bit of armor on, but more importantly, he actually uses his staff and like kind of like b- bumps you away with his staff. Like, to, like, you know, like it's enough to like make you kind of hesitate. But uh, just to make this more interesting, you notice that on the end of his stick, like the stick that he's batting you away up, there's a scorpion on there and the scorpion is gonna attack you since you're right next to him. Uh, 
Uh, like it's a it's a living scorpion tied to a stick, but it but it it completely it completely misses. Like the little stinger like completely misses you. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so now you're right there. Uh, so now yeah, we're likes me off, but I still get like a little slash. Oh yeah, yeah, you definitely hurt him. Okay. Yeah, uh, and now it is uh, uh, crawling. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to. Is there other people over here? I'm gonna go over there. Uh, yeah, yeah. There, there's there's two over there. Yeah. The heck did my thing go? All right, so I'm gonna go over there, and I'm gonna use my war pick. All right. Oh wait, actually no, I don't want to do that. Oh. <laughs> I, I I forgot I had like another idea in my mind I want to do first. Yeah, they're, and they're yeah. they're basically right next to each other in case you want to know. So what I wanted to do is I wanted to pick up one of the shields. Oh, from one of the fallen guys. Yeah, I wanted well, to pick you up. Talk one about, of you talk about that big shield that was on the ground. The, yeah, the ones with the that made it bounce. Okay, okay, yeah. There's yeah. Just so you know, it's gonna like. What are you trying to do? Just tell me what you're trying to do. I just want to pick it up and like just. Like charge, like at okay. the people that I pointed out. Okay, I will say because technically picking it up would be like an action, like you because know, you're essentially dropping your other shield and picking it up. Uh, roll an athletics check to see if you can do all of that and still be able to attack afterward. What would athletic be? Uh, for you, well, it would be your strength. Like roll and add your right. strength modifier. Uh, drop my die. No. I. Oh, there it is. Uh. I am vengeance. Let me see what it was. Uh, sixteen plus two, eighteen. You know what? I will say that's enough. Uh, but just so you know, when you the shield, you know, once again in my head, the shield is like roughly. Yeah, actually, you know what? Fine. Yeah, you know, I'm fine with that. You pick it up and you run toward those two guys. What are you trying to? You trying to hit them with the shield? Yeah, I just want to like. Well, mostly. Well, I don't want to like reach up to them. I just want to like run like you know halfway to where they are okay but like having the shield pointed towards them so like they can't really attack me oh, okay okay so like we'll, we'll just say you're readying a shield so we'll we'll say that yeah. you ha they have disadvantage if they attack you yeah because you're fed i'm fine with that so you're just preparing for that all right uh harass what are you doing uh you're 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 you're, you're, dressed <laughs> I'm on you're on you're on fire okay um would i don't know how presentation the what? Persist the best spell in the game. I, I mean, oh, so you're just trying to put out the fire with your spell? Yeah, can I do that? With presentation? I'm, I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually very fine with that. Yeah, okay, well, having, go, Yeah, like basically you kind of do like a hand gesture and you do it like that. And like it's almost like a gust of psychic wind. It still feels terrible on my arm. My arm is really swollen. <laughs> like um, the arm that's not swollen. I'm the story after. Yeah, it, it's it's not the most exciting story. Oh, oh, do you want to see pictures? We got pictures, and I got pictures. Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, like the my meat is coming out of the holes, but um. Yeah, yeah. you want to see that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, Show me that. Yeah, but like, and a psychic a psychic wind kind of blows that and puts it completely out. Uh, what else do you want to do? I mean, technically uh, that's your action, but you, yeah, what, I was gonna say. Um, but I mean, well, you just and once again, we're just we're just trying to have fun with this. So, what do you want to do after that? I cast shield. You already shield doesn't do anything. What? Oh, well, I mean, oh, well, I wanted to just protect I mean, you myself. Can, I got scared now. People going to shoot fire at me, man. Well, Trinity, when that when that thing hit, when uh when that thing hit the rock with you, you could have cast shield then. Whoops! You cast shield when someone attacks you. Yeah, it's a reaction. Yeah. Oh, okay. I see. It's just in the description, and it so what's the state? It should say it's a reaction. It doesn't matter. Uh, point is, uh, so you just no, you oh wait, you is it? Just, just want to stand there? No wait. <laughs> um. And go ahead and roll your one d ten, or I like that. We'll figure it out. But for right now, roll a one d ten to see if you get your temporal flood back. Yes. One d ten. Five. Nope. <laughs> well, like I said, oh we'll, play, we'll play around with it. I, I, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm coming up with a system in my head of how it works. Um. Can I just ready you? Uh, attack. 
if something gets near you, that's fine. Yes. You're, just, you're just preparing. All right. Uh, now we're at the creature's turn. Um, uh, we'll say that uh, the two kobolds that are the two kobolds that are closest to Crowley will uh, since all they they'll, they'll, just, they'll just throw rocks at you because it's all they really can do. Uh, <laughs> they're, but they're also going to roll with disadvantage, and they both miss. They, and I'll say both that both of the rocks like hit the shield and kind of bounce off, like boink, boink. Yeah, and bounce back towards them. <laughs> Yeah, the, the, uh, that shield, that's not, that's not exactly how that shield works, but... <laughs> <laughs> I wish. Um, yeah, exactly. Uh, and maybe maybe we'll work on that in a little bit. But um, All right, so... And then the other two kobolds with their rocks are going to throw their rocks at uh, Grease. Uh, they both miss, because they're... <laughs> they <suck. laughs> maybe they're horrified by the sight of their other guys getting eaten. So they just miss. losers. They miss terribly. <laughs> Um, the, uh, the one kobold that's flying, uh, now that it's, it, it's also trying to pick up a rock and it sees Argos, uh, now that he's up on the, he's up on the, uh, top of the wall too. And he's going to, uh, he's gonna, he's gonna grab his rock and fly over Argos and he's gonna throw his rock at you, Argos, or drop it on you. Uh, what's your AC right now, Argos? Dylan. Dylan. <laughs> I'll just look it up myself because I. I'm here. What's your AC? My AC. It's your air conditioning. Yes. What's your air conditioning? Oh, it's at a 72 degrees. It's like I like to keep it a nice. My AC is a 14. A 14. Uh, this thing, yeah, you get hit by this rock. Now, real quick, question. have you looked at what your reactions are? Uh, reactions. You see that? Yeah. Okay, I'm just telling you that, so you might want to you might want to use that because you're getting attacked right now. Wait, wait what does it do? Uncanny dodge? Oh, I can dodge it. Yeah, you, so you take half damage, but that, which okay. is good because you would have taken five, six. You would have taken eight damage, but now you only take four. Yep, I can do that every time. You can do that once. You can do that once around. Oh. So yeah, basically he he flies up and you see it coming and you just like you kind of roll out of the way and like and I'll say the rock basically lands on your tail and that's why that's why it still hurts you because it lands on your tail. Otherwise, it would have like that eight damage would have been pretty decent little chunk of damage. Uh, and now the inventor, the inventor cobalt, like is in front of uh is in front of um. Uh, let's see here. Mm. He will use. He will use. Uh, all right, this is what you're gonna try to do to you, uh, Greece. I need you to make a. All right, basically, you, okay, Greece. You see the cobalt right in front of you, right? Yeah. You see inside that little cage that he has, the little box that's on his back, is a skunk. He basically turns around. And lifts and like he uses like a there's like a pulley system. He yanks on the pulley and it yanks the skunk's tail and the skunk sprays you. <laughs> you you need Get to that. make make a Constitution saving throw. Wait, is that it? I need to make a what throw? Constitution saving throw. So roll roll a d20 and add whatever your Constitution modifier is. Constitution modifier. Yeah, which for you it should be a plus two, I think. Yeah, eleven. Eleven? That is enough. Like, like even you. It will say for you. It's because you're used to living in like nastiness and filth or whatever. The the smell doesn't bother you nearly as much because it still sprayed you, but it doesn't bother you nearly. You just kind of go pop, pop. like it just it doesn't really taste good. It got in your mouth a little bit, but yeah. Uh, and when the, and when the, when the cobalt turns back around and sees that it didn't phase you, it kind he's 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 scared. He's he just, he's not feeling so good. Uh, but anyway, uh, back to the top. Argos, what are you doing? Dun, dun, dun. What are you doing, Argos? Dun, 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 Dylan. Oh. Not... Grease, what are you doing? Oh, oh, Dylan, are you playing now? I'm turning in invisible. Yeah, that's your whole action. Oh. Wait. So... I mean, yeah, remember, like, you keep saying it, but it's like, that literally takes your whole action. You can't do anything else after that. 
Mm. So what mm. I that's what I was saying. Like you, you literally have to pick and choose and be careful. Like other, like yeah, you guys are. Uh, unless you tell me something really cool you're trying to do, that's that's all that's gonna happen. So who's left? There's the flying cobalt that just tried to drop. So he's flying slightly above you. <laughs> Uh, there's still four regular kobolds out on the ground. Uh, I'm sorry, I missed it. Yeah, yeah, there's four regular kobolds, and then there's the the inventor kobold that uh, Grease is in front of. Is there any way I can? Because I want to sneak up behind that the one that Grease is fighting. Is he like the most strongest one? I mean, he's so far he's been the toughest to kill. Can is there any way I can like? If I turn invisible, can I still like move around? Yes. Oh, uh, can I turn invisible? Yeah, that's your action. And then stealthy, try to like get. To Just so you're still on the wall, you still have to get down the wall if you want. Can I get down? I'm gonna try. I roll athletics to see how smoothly you can do it. Hey, the drums. Yeah, this is sounds like. <laughs> What's my lettuce? Uh, straight. Just do straight. I said, what's my lettuce? What? what? Lettuce leaf? <laughs> I'll say, your strength is probably a negative. Your strength is a negative three. Negative three? Nah, I'm going to just turn into a bat and fly down. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <No. laughs> All right, so you basically, you, you turn into a bat, and that, you did turn invisible, and now you're just a bat. And you, you said you want to fly towards the inventor cobalt? I want to fly, like, above him and, like, go behind him. Okay. Oh, I, mean, no. I want to fly somewhere. Is there any way I could fly mm -hmm. somewhere and then, like, like try to hide while, like, as a bat somewhere? Where are you like, trying to – You tell me, like, where if to hide, you have to hide behind something or in I want to hide behind, like, a rock. Okay, I mean, yes, sure. You, you as a bat, you turn to a bat. You fly. It's difficult to fly because you got the heavy collar on, and you find a rock that you, that's big enough to hide your small frame. Roll a stealth check. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, must have. Actually, you know what? I mean, actually, you okay? You you can hide behind it, but you can't be stealthy because everybody saw you do it. So don't worry about that. Yeah. All right. Anyway, is that your turn? Yeah. Okay. Uh, Grease, what are you doing? You're in front of the Inventor Cobalt, and you just. <laughs> And you didn't even notice the other kobolds throwing rocks at you because they missed terribly. Oh, I do. Yeah, I, I don't know what to do about these noises. I can't stop it. <laughs> it's so annoying. Um. So you said he's scared. Well, yeah, because his his attack didn't work, and you're literally covered in the blood and gore of, like, six different kobolds at this point. Am I, like, towering over him? Oh, I, no, you're, t like, if it wasn't for the fact that you're hunched over, you would probably be, like, you be you would be way taller than you look. Like, you're, like, even though you're skinny, you're just, like, this ripped little muscle, like, bend over. Like, your shoulders are almost, like, taller than your head and your neck, and yeah, he's, yeah, you're, you're, you're gonna, like, they, remember, kobolds are small. They're like they're like the size. They're like three feet tall. They're really short. So when I ran at him, I wanted to run on all. Or I'm gonna just say that I ran on all fours, so that I'm in his face, but I'm still on like all fours. Yeah. And I like you said he's scared, so I want to like slowly like stand up and like look down at him. Uh, what do what? you think are you're you, doing? I mean, what, what, yeah. are you, what, what, what else are you doing? Sorry. I'm, I'm, uh, trying, I'm trying to get this thing to stop making noises. Hey, I can't do it. Anyway, go ahead. <laughs> I want to... I don't want to kill him. <laughs> I mean, remember, you're still in blood rage mode. You're, you're not thinking no. clearly. You're a wild animal. Do you, do you want my suggestion? I can't be tamed. You know, even, though I'm, even though I shouldn't tell you guys how to play, we, we I want to save him for information. But right now I'm a little I'm a little crazy. Remember, you're not that smart. <laughs> Stupid. Uh, I mean, once again, that's what, that's once again the reason I gave you a character like this is because you're always trying to play like this, this which is great. But no, this, you're this you're this angry, dropping, just you just argh. that's all you're thinking about is like. I'm hungry. I'm always hungry. 
These things are easy to kill. Yeah. <laughs> remember, you're the best actor of the group, remember? Oh. Get, into, get into the role. Get into the role. You know what? Fine. You want me to get into the role? Oh. Want me to get into the role? Yes. Okay. Are you going to wear the... I thought you could take the picture. Like <laughs> I want to... Look at this. This is a... <laughs> <laughs> I forget a person looks like that. All right, stand up slowly. And I just want to rip him to shreds. Just like, okay. Absolutely. You can use all three attacks on him. You yeah. could do that. Oh my God. Overkill. Three? <laughs> I rip, Jesus. Rip him to shreds. So let me see if he's attacked you. Uh, why if you miss all three of them? That'd be amazing. <laughs> That would be amazing. Rain on me. Uh, uh, 12 plus 6. That hits. That's the bite. Uh, okay. Yeah, just got, just roll all your attacks. Just, just why not? 7 plus 6. 7 plus 6? Yeah. What is that, 13? Yeah, 13. That, hit, that hits. And then 5 plus 6. Eleven. That actually misses. Ah. <laughs> Don't leave. Okay. No. Go, I, I, go ahead and roll damage, even though I'm sure he's not going to survive it. Two plus four, six. Yeah. And then three plus three, seven. Oh, that hits. Yeah. You, yeah. We'll say the reason your last attack missed. Because, because it's completely torn apart. There wasn't anything left to hit. <laughs> Oh my god. I want to slash. Wait, wait. I want to attack with the sword first. So I like. You can do whatever you want. I take one sword out and then I kind of like impale him into the ground with the sword. Yeah. So he's stuck in the ground and then I just start eating him. Like, I just start like ripping him the sword. You you want to, real quick, you just want to make this the creature you eat that kind of kills your blood rage? Yes. We'll just say that you're like, like whenever the next round happens, he's just going to be devouring this creature, and and the, and the skunk and the scorpion. <laughs> yeah, I eat everything. I eat everything. Yeah, it's like ooh, it's just ooh. There's so many different flavors. Ugh, tastes <laughs> like chicken. All the reason I missed that last sword attack is because I was just I, I was just swinging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There was literally nothing yeah. there at the point. Uh, but uh, now it is um. Uh, what are you doing, Crowley? You're you've got your you got your little uh, assumingly magical shield, and you got two kettle bolts directly in front of you. I'm gonna continue to bum rush them. Okay. Uh, are you are you testing out what this shield can do? Yes. All right. Uh, ro- real quick, just roll an attack. Just roll like one or two. At- like yeah, roll two attacks. Roll a roll a d20 and add uh just add your regular attack modifier, whatever it is. I don't know why my phone is off. All right. <gasps> I'm not going. Um, would be the attack like for the. Oh, it'll just be a plus six. So. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll, roll a d20. Just add yeah. plus. so eleven for the first one. Okay. Seven plus six, thirteen. Okay, we'll say you only hit one of the kobolds. And since you're actively trying to use what uh, whatever you think this shield can do, uh, what you see, what happens with the one that you hit? Because the other the other one kind of jumps out of the way, but the one that you hit, uh, oh goodness, oh there it goes, uh, go away, go away. Uh, what happens is when it when it physically touches him and makes contact with him, it bounces him away. Like you could feel like a charge of energy, and it bounces him away. And just to make this Interesting. Uh, roll a 1d6. 1d6. Yeah. Out of three. Yeah. Uh, we'll, we'll just say, uh, for simplicity's sake, what happens is it actually ba- it shoot it kind of bounces him into the wall, and between that and the wall and falling on the ground, it just he's you're not 100 percent sure if he's dead, but he's definitely not moving after that. He's like boom, 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 just on the ground, and the other cobalt is like. Ah! But uh, but anyway, uh, anything else you want to do? Um, 
I'm going to use my reaction, which is um. You can't do that. Well, what are you doing? It says, it says um, after a successful attack, I can use a bonus action to create a cloud of dust. To give oh, okay, okay, to okay, 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 okay. I, I thought you were doing something else. Yes, you can do that. Yes. Smoke bomb. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And I, I, got plus two AC. I forgot that you had that ability. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The, the after an successful attack was supposed to be if something hits you. Oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. And as I was saying, reactions are supposed to happen when as a, as some, when something else happens out of your control. So yeah, sorry, sorry. I, I maybe I didn't write that correctly, but yeah, it's supposed to be when somebody hits you, you can do that. Okay. Okay. Ah. So yeah, you, you can't you can't do that right now. All right. Well, with that, I will. You could have done it when you got hit by rocks though earlier. But... That is true. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, I end my turn then. Okay. Uh, what are you doing, Haras? <laughs> okay. Where would you say I am on the map? You're still near the front gates. You never really walked away from the front gates. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> so, like Cro Crowley, Crowley and his kobolds are over here. You got the. Okay. You got uh, Greece over here eating. Argos, yes. Argos flew, and let's say, let's just say for simplicity's sake, Argos flew over here. He's high behind that rock, and you have oh, two oh. kobolds hiding over here behind that rubble. There's still two left. Yeah, there's still Cass. two left. Yeah. Can I first roll to see if I get clips? Yeah, and I think I've decided what I'm going to do. Every time you use that during a fight, you, uh, first you're going to roll a 1d10, and if you don't get it, the next time you roll a 1d8, and if you don't get it, then you roll a 1d8. Like it, like, it increases your chances of getting it every time. Oh, I understand. Uh, yeah, but but I think the last time I you... I got a 10, boy! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Whatever you Everybody's have. Everybody's frozen. Oh. I was gonna have you roll a lower <laughs> number, but yeah, sure. We'll just, say, we'll, just, we'll just say you have it. Um, you got it. Cool. I'm gonna glimpse into poor flood those two over here. And you can only do one. I'm almost positive you can only do one with that spell. Is that what it says? Okay, that's what you said. I, if you paused for you said one person. I'm pretty sure you can only do one person with that. Yeah, it targets one creature. Oh, Fine. All right, so uh, <laughs> what just roll, roll, roll for damage with your unblockable attack. <laughs> he said, "You can't block the glimpse." <laughs> he double said, "Oh, there's a spider." That's why he. Uh -oh. Okay, let me oh, see. Oh, there's what a I spider. Do. Yeah, that's what Dylan said. He said, "Oh, there's a spider." Yeah, Mister, I don't like them. Like he also gets scared of ladybugs and. Yeah. Well, four D eight. Okay, four D eight. Where is it? One, two, three, four, fifteen. There's literally no way you couldn't. We'll say when you do that, his head literally explodes. Like, it's like Explodes. Scared. I'll like, finish your sentence. <laughs> <laughs> he goes like, you go like that, and little like, like a certain, uh, like a geometric image appears in like glowing numbers over your head or like glowing images. And you go like that, and you, you see, you just see like, whatever happens, happens inside of his brain and just, head just explodes. And now the, uh -huh. other, the other kobold's covered in his exploded head. <laughs> All right, I'm sorry. So what, what, what do you do? What do you do now? Um. Oh. I think I'm going to make my way over here. Where? Okay, so closer to Crowley. Okay. Yeah, closer to yeah. That's that. All right. So basically, you you avoid the the, the two the two. Like, so basically, we really only have the flying kobold and the uh, the one kobold. And, well, there's three kobolds left altogether. All right. So now it is uh, their turn. What happened to the map? Somebody's drawing on it. <laughs> I uh, I even though I'm he's sorry. terrified, the kobold that's like next to Crowley is going to try to stab him in the back with a dagger since he's like back is kind of towards him because he just like uh, killed the other guy. Uh, he misses. Yeah, he ah. certainly misses. Uh, he, he so, basically, he, he basically, he hits your armor, but your armor's stone, so it just kind of scratches off of it. Scratches off of it. Uh, the one that's flying with the rock, um, actually flies over, uh, after seeing the head get exploded of the other one, he's gonna try to drop the rock on you, Haras. You're scared. Uh, what's, what's your AC right now? 
of it doesn't matter. I believe it's fourteen. Okay. He, he missed. He, he basically he his aim, his aim is off, and like maybe there was like a gust of wind, and so he drops it and it falls in the wrong place. So he flies back to a different wall to try to grab another rock, and the one with the sling, the one who's covered in gore, he's gonna he's gonna sling a rock at you, Haras, because he's scared of you. And I deflect he, it. Shield. I want to uh, shoot. It, it, he it doesn't. He missed anyway. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Some of, that, some of that nastiness got in his eye, so it just swings completely wide. Uh, real quick, if you guys just want to, all of you can just, there's no way you guys aren't gonna kill these things. Just everybody describe, uh, okay, Grease is out of commission right now because he's eating. What is everybody else doing to kill the rest of these kobolds? Um, uh, me? Yes. So I wanna go fly in front of him and get fly, my- Fly in front of which one? Uh, the one close to near me. Okay, let, 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 we'll, we'll say you're going after the one who is slinging rocks. So you go to now, him. I, I want to fly in front of him and then, what you call it? Hop back in front of him and just start murdering him. <laughs> just start. <laughs> oh, I mean, I, go I, ahead. I don't, I don't know how to describe that imagery, but sure, you're just, <laughs> we'll just say you, you you successfully sneak up behind him and you do the same thing you did to the wing cobalt. You just jump on his back and just start tearing him up. Yeah. Uh, it, it looks like a cat fighting a bigger cat. Uh, uh, Haras, what do you do with your kobold? Look, Haras, we'll just say that you're fi- you go after the flying kobold because you're the only one. Like, because he, why not? How do you kill the flying one? Uh, oh, rocket is it? That's <laughs> sure. All your magical okay. powers, oh, and you throw oh. a rock in his head. <laughs> oh, rockets! All right. <laughs> We'll, we'll say you psychically sling a rock at his. Uh, we'll, we'll say you sling a rock at his. Oh yeah, let me let me the rock. Yeah. Can I go? That's <laughs> 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 what I want to do. I go. All right, take it up. Crowley, how do you kill the uh, the little cobalt in front of you that's trying to kill you? Um, I wanna. I'm gonna back him up to a wall. All right. I'm gonna shield bash him, so he's gonna keep bouncing between a wall and a shield, and he just keeps bashing his head right. into the wall. That's funny. you bounce his head like a basketball between the shield and the wall. <laughs> now, one thing I will tell you though, Crowley, is as you at, at, towards the end when his head starts slowing, well, after his head's turned into like a pile of mush. You can you can feel that you've used up the charges of the shield. Oh my! Oh my God. <laughs> you feel like maybe they'll come back, but right now you've used up. It was worth time. it. It was worth it. <laughs> <laughs> to to turn his head into peanut butter. <laughs> All right, so Greece, you're satisfied because you've eaten the meal. You're no longer blood lust. Uh, you guys are surrounded by all these dead kobolds. You guys have picked up a shield. What do you guys do? Oh, and if it, I'll say around this point, uh, you guys still haven't actually seen uh, the warden step inside the walls. So you guys- Oh, have- not to show up. It's the bomb. No, oh, wait, he, that he, guy. He hasn't yet. You guys have, mo- you guys at the most, you assume you have moments before he comes in. So what uh, do you guys- Oh, I'll turn Okay, Argos, I mean- You're not trying to loot. Well, who, okay, roll an investigation check. All right, hold on, I need to get my- my, my what is everybody else? What is everybody else doing while he's rolling? Uh, I'm going back to the center of the place. Okay. You're, you're yeah, I want to head towards the middle. Yeah. Come okay. Out here. Where after my blood rage, like after I come out of it, I have a bit of memory loss. That's fine. Yeah, you blacked out a little bit. Yeah. I'm Wait, fine with that. I'm messing up. I'm so sorry. Okay. Sixteen. Fact, he walks in and I'm sleep. I'm I'm sleep. <laughs> You've got like a really fat belly, and you're just like, oh. <laughs> I'm fine with that. All right, so what'd you roll, uh, Argos? 16. Okay, that is, uh, we'll, we'll just say, okay, so nobody else except for Argos is looking for treasure. Actually, what I want to do, like, when I get back to the center, I want to replace the shield with the other one. Because wasn't there two shields? Well, no, 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 no. Basically, the shield, like for you, it's just a really good size shield. But for two small kobolds, it oh, took. Oh, they were both it, carrying it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, that's. It took it two of them to hold it because it's yeah. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I just sit back in the middle. <laughs> okay, so you're just waiting for the guy to come back through. 
uh, our, our guys, with yours, because we'll say our guys, you didn't just search the ones that you killed. You kind of like, because you're really good at spotting treasure. So you're kind of like, like invisibly like hopping around and looking for all these things. You find, um, oh, I'm not rolling for that. We'll say you actually find like a, maybe like 10 copper. You find 10 copper pieces uh, amongst the kobolds, like little pouches. Uh, and we'll say that while you're searching, you actually find like a, uh, a small <laughs> box actually like shoved under some of the rubble. And you only saw this because of how small you are. Uh, but the but the box uh, and it's not locked. Do you open the box? Yes. All right. The lock the box. Inside the box is actually a uh, hundred gold. Yes. And uh, and a necklace of black pearls. Ew. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm rich, right? Uh, sure. Well, I mean, I'm in prison, so I can't even keep this money. Well, that's, oh. I was, was going to say, as soon as you find that box, uh, warden comes you, like, you start to see the warden coming through the gate. Do you oh, want to try to, junk. yeah, do you want to try to, like, and once again, you're tidy, so it's not easy to, but what do you, what do you try to do? Like, he hasn't, are you trying to hide that you found this stuff, or you don't really care if you I, Um, I don't want him getting it. Can you tell me what you're doing with it? Uh, is it like, can I, like. You have seconds before he might know. Wait, is there any holes nearby? Yeah, there's a hole that you just found the treasure in. Where the hose at? Yeah, where the hose at? Everybody just froze. What'd you say? Uh, uh, no, you uh, froze. No, you froze. No, everybody froze. Yeah, yeah, you froze. <laughs> everybody freeze. No, you froze. <laughs> no, uh, you froze. <laughs> is there any holes nearby? Yeah, there's there's literally the hole you just found this in. So yeah. Yeah, I want to get it back in the oh, hole. No, we try to cover out. it up fast. Okay. I'll say, I'll say, roll a sleight of hand check. And if you don't have sleight of hand, add your dexterity. And we will change the music. No. I got a natural 20. You feel very, very secure. Wait, 24, 24. Yeah, you, you feel like... <laughs> Uh, yeah, you feel pretty secure about that. But just so you know, you're, are you still invisible? Yeah. Okay, uh... I'm gonna shock you, bro. Wait, what? I'll say... A floating necklace. I don't think... Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't I think you remember. Yourself? Uh, but anyway, so the warden comes in. He's like, Oh, my. What a delightfully messy business. I'm so sorry I couldn't join in. Uh, so, have you found anything of use on any of these creatures? Nope. <laughs> roll, a de- roll a deception check. Nope. No, I'm just not gonna answer. Roll, roll a d20 and add your charisma modifier or deception if you have deception. Making my way downtown. Oh, uh, sorry. Is, is Dylan even around? Like sixteen? What? Huh? Sixteen. Uh. He just kind of looks at you and he's like, bring me what you found. I ain't bring you nothing. Uh, oh <laughs> roll it, roll it, constitution saving throw. <laughs> what? I ain't bring you nothing. <laughs> That's what he did. <laughs> so I bring you nothing. <laughs> uh, 14. Uh, not enough. You, you're you're down and foaming at the mouth for uh, <laughs> three rounds, three rounds, roughly three oh rounds. Oh my god! Wait, so you, you, no, you you know that was the saving throw. You failed. Oh. No, you. Oh, 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 oh because you're uncanny dodge. No, you can't dodge this. It oh. is literally on your neck. Uh, so you're like on the ground convulsing, and uh, the warden you know, looking. What? None of us have ever tried to take off this color. Like, what if it's super easy? We just never tried it. Yeah, you guys haven't tried a lot of things. <laughs> like, what if it's just like, boom, break it off? But it's anyway, just- uh, he looks at you, Crowley. He's like, you there, silent one. Go over there and get whatever it is that he hid. I ain't right. and it. I it, Wait, go. do they even know where it's at? <laughs> he did, but okay. You have enough sense to know that the warden just knows that you're lying. Oh. Uh. And he know he, once again he knows that you're a he knows that you're a thief and he knows that you're a pickpocket and so he assumes that you're hiding something. 
I go to the general area where I saw him come out from. <laughs> okay, yeah, roll, roll a... Just do roll, that. Roll a... Uh, uh, roll an investigation check or with intelligence. I don't know if you have investigation or not, but roll with it. Right. And do it with advantage because you know there's something over there. Okay, this music's no good. We need oh, dang. I'm sorry, Dylan. <laughs> Straight oh. 20. Oh. Uh, yeah, like, it's one of those things where, like, it's not hard to figure out, like, where the best place to, like, to easily, like, to quickly hide something. Um... Oh, excuse me. Uh, I guess we'll play this music for now. Uh, so you easily find the little box that he hid the stuff in, and um, and so like I said, it's the it's the hundred gold. There's uh, the what was I said like what ten copper pieces and the string of black uh, pearls. Now, real quick. Um, well, actually, hold up. Oh goodness. Okay, so I get actually. Ah, oh, goodness, I gotta get used to this thing. Um. Oh, it's crazy. The first roll I got was a three, and I was like, okay, maybe he's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then, but then he said advantage, I'm like, oh. <laughs> the only time I roll a 20. Hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm doing a thing. Hold on. I'll wait downtown. You, you, guys, you, you guys be interesting while I do something boring. Yeah, I rolled a natural 20 though to hide you. That was for you guys. Yeah, okay. but then you the, uh, okay, the okay, like, okay, what, uh, one, I'm running the game. Two, oh. just because you hit it very well, does it mean it's impossible to find? And you didn't roll very good with your deception check. Oh. A demon, a, a, a demon who rolled higher than you realized you were lying, and once again, knows that you're a trickster, knows oh. that you're a thief, assumes that you probably found something and hit it. So, and then Crowley also rolled a natural 20 to find it. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Okay. You did. Are you... Yeah, why did your quality go down, Dylan? <laughs> I don't know. It does. I know oh. it does. Okay. I Open the window, bro. Let it some light. Yeah, it's probably There's the no lighting light. now. There's a big window in front of you. There's no light. <laughs> the sun's out. You see, there's, there's no sign. Keep it right there. No, keep it right there. There's no sign. Uh, I see sun. <laughs> These blinds are open, so you can't really see it. You can pull the string. Okay, All right, fine. but anyway, um, so anyway, so you, uh, so Crowley, this you do so that. Difficult. Uh, what, what do you do with the stuff that you found? Because you're in a like once again, I mean, you know, the warder can see you, but he doesn't see exactly what you have. Take it for hmm. yourself. But anyway, uh, so the uh, so, but while you're doing that, the warden looks at the rest of you. And he's like, uh, so no one else found anything worthwhile? I'm asleep. He, he looks at the other one. He's like, at least one of us eating is eating well today. So are y'all prepared to go into the rest of this? Nod. Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, we're doing something. Um, uh, but anyway, uh, what was I going to say next? Uh, but anyway, so yeah, so what do you guys do? Like, uh, he goes, are y'all prepared to go into the next part? Are you prepared? Sorry, I know I had to repeat myself. <laughs> Pull me at the mouth. <laughs> yeah, I was like, yeah, he's, he's out of it. He's like, he goes, it's not my job to go in there. It's not my job either. I don't care. <laughs> roll, roll, another, roll, roll another constitution saving throw. Roll another constitution saving throw. God dang it. Bro, this man is going to die. Natural 20. Natural 20. Okay. Uh, you, still, you still are out for a round, but you kind of like, you, you actually, you, you sit there and you take it. And you're just like, yeah, but you're not on the ground, like completely helpless. Yeah, I'm getting used to it. Sure. Uh, he, he, he looks at you and he just kind of grimaces. Like, once again, this creature with no lips, he's like, still like, <laughs> he like, he like, here's the eyes. Yeah. He's... <laughs> 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 
<laughs> yeah, he's, he's not happy. What is the name That's of so this? Bad. Huh? What is the name of this creature? Oh, a uh, babu or baba or whatever. What remember mm-hmm. when we looked it oh, up? Look it. A babu. A A baba or baba ba. A baba ba 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 ba. Here, I'll, I'll do the thing where like we can hear Matt Mercer's voice saying. Oh, babu. Ew. Babu. Babu. Thank you, Matt Mercer. Babu. <laughs> what was that again? Babu. Oh, okay. Hey. <laughs> What was that? What was that other thing we fought earlier? Winged kobold. Uh, oh, thank you, thank you. What was the other one? <laughs> kobold. Oh, thank you, Marisha Mar- 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 Ray. <laughs> oh, oh, he is like a devil. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a baba what, what, what was the other guy? Kobold invented. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ew, kobold inventor. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, would you not want to get paid to just say a bunch of decrud creatures' names? That's amazing. True, true. That's what he looks like, guys. A uh, uh, babau. That's a what babau. It, he doesn't. He's not covered in blood like that, but he does look. And that horn on the back of his head curves over his head and points forward. Anglerfish. Uh, yeah, kind of, kind of, just without the glowy stuff. He looks crazy. I want to be this. Well, you're not. You're you're a you're a dirty cult. You're a dirty, you're a dirty dog. You're a dirty dog. <laughs> What is uh, what Dylan's character? Uh, he's a qu- he's a quasit. Quasit. See, look, see I, I changed his name to it, so you can just look up that word. Yeah. Wow. But anyway, anyway, moving forward. So, what, do you, what do you guys do, and what do you do, Crowley? So, um, like I, I'm so back where he hit the stuff. Yeah, right. like he, he, like for the most part, he's kind of ignoring. <laughs> Uh, I didn't see whose <laughs> hand went up first, so Trinity. Why? <laughs> it's <even> lie. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> just, just. Fine, you know what? We're gonna roll for it. Uh, we're gonna uh, uh, let's see. Trinity, you're yellow. Malcolm, you're purple. Let's see who gets the higher roll. Who who was yellow? Oh, Marla Stanley. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever I said was yellow won. It was what? Trinity. Oh, cool. You got a seventeen. I have to pee. <laughs> okay, what? I have to pee. Actually, no, I got a minute, pee. Hold on. What? So you telling me <laughs> you just took my spot? To <laughs> sit here all by you? I still have to put my clothes in the dryer. <laughs> Are you kidding me? This is nope. what Dylan looks like. This ugly. Yeah, kinda. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the size of a cat. Dylan, do you see how hideous you are? I didn't even hear. <laughs> Get on him. I thought he looked cool. I thought he was going to look like the other thing, like a little imp or something. <laughs> this thing is disgusting. You're disgusting. Nobody loves you. All right, let's see if we have a, let's see if we have a voice for this. Hey, real quick, before I press the button, do we think it's Matt Mercer or Marisha Ray? Who do we think it is? Uh, Take it back. Uh, Matthew. Uh, let's see. Quasit. It's Marisha Ray. Ah! Quasit. Quasit. All right, yeah, listen, listen I, I'm going to go take a pee break, too. So everybody take a small break or whatever. Ain't no breaks. <laughs> Ain't no breaks. Wait, Trinity, what time you say you're getting off? Yeah. No. You got, hey, Trinity. Hey. Hello, Trinity. <laughs> Trinity. <laughs> oh. Yes, I'm sore. What did you do? Uh, my, I do exercise yesterday with Dylan's weights, and I'm really sore. <laughs> hey, Wait, my weights? When did you use those? Don't worry about it. Uh, hey, you have work? Not today. Uh, tomorrow I do. <laughs> Why do you have on your work uniform? This is my This is that, school <laughs> co- shirt. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> National Honor <laughs> Society, boy. <laughs> hey, look, Dylan, what are you about to do, bro? Hold on. National what Art Society. You use these, Trinity? Do? Yeah, I use those. I thought he was going to throw it at the laptop for a second. <laughs> the way he like, swung it a bit. <laughs> I thought he was going to like, throw it on the laptop. Uh, Trey, are uh, you still, have you gone to the bathroom yes, yet? I'm, I'm sore. Oh, We're back in, bruh. <laughs> I'm going. Right, Calm down. Actually, gonna well, take turn on your mic right now. I mean, wait a minute. Your camera. Huh? Turn on your camera. Oh, so you see, what happened was, is what I'm happened? using, so I yeah. got a new mic, right? And... I'm using the mic and it's plugging into my laptop, but my laptop doesn't have a webcam. That's so, I'm, you know, 
Like, oh, have a, yeah. This is the medicines I have to take uh, to keep my dog bites from becoming infected. Ooh. Pop them off. You think with no water? What the heck? You just turned into the PlayStation 5. The what? <laughs> Because I, I was talking to you, and then a notification popped up on my laptop for the PlayStation 5. Oh, All right. Uh. <laughs> All right. So, uh, I know Trinity's in the bathroom. So, uh, But you can go ahead and tell me what you were doing, Crowley. Yeah, because I, I, I wanted to sneak it anyway, so, you know, if they don't know, it's actually better. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so... I, I, you know, back you know what I realized? If we ever have to do something sneaky on this, I can literally just kick people out of the thing temporarily and bring them back. <laughs> True. We're not All gonna right. do that, right? But when we do that in the real game, like when we get back to the playing the real game, we might actually do it like that. But anyway, sorry, go ahead, Crowley. What are you doing? All right, bye, Malcolm. All right. Um, so <laughs> I think I can I temporarily block you. No, don't choose me <laughs> <laughs> as the test subject. <laughs> <laughs> so what I want to do is um. I'm going to put on the, uh, what's it called? The black pearl necklace. You, uh, you, just so you know, uh, I will say for you, it's not easy. Well, are you going to try to do it like, like, but sneakily, like underneath your, your stuff? Like, can they see where I am right now? Like, do they see me? I, I will say like, okay, if everybody else is kind of gathered near the middle and towards like, let's say everyone else is like roughly here. Mm -hmm. You're roughly over here behind some of the rubble digging around. So it's right. not, they know you're there, and remember, they know you're looking for stuff. But yeah, like I would say, you okay? Roll if you, are you if you're trying to do this sneakily, you need to try to roll a. Uh, oh, uh, what I want to do oh, is yeah, yeah, what are you doing? to like hopefully may, if this helps out, um, I want to like kind of like stab the shield into the floor, hopefully having it stand up. Okay. As if like, oh, I need I need to put this down so I can look around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I want to like have my head behind it to put it on. Sure, I will. Okay, then in that case, roll roll a sleight of hand, but with advantage, and add your dexterity because you probably don't have sleight of hand. Uh, and just so you know, like there, there's a DC, you don't know it, but it's it's you're you're the stuff you're doing is helping to lower the DC. This Vinny, he jumped on the couch. Get off the couch, Vinny. Off the front of the dog. Vinny, bad dog, bad. He doesn't care. <laughs> He's like, what are you going to do about it? A whole lot of nothing. Oh, Vinny. All right, I got a 13. Okay, uh, I'll say as far as you're concerned, you feel like you, you feel, you know, like, you feel like you got away with it. You don't know for sure. Right, but uh, but I'm going to take a little longer and act like I was still digging. Okay. Just so like, I think I feel like I'm still there looking. Yeah, sounds good. And then I finally come out. <laughs> sure, sounds good to me. Um, what do you eat? Hey, bro, ain't no place to eat food. Ain't no time to eat food, bro. Dude, that's a lot of pretzels. I thought it was like that a brass. I, 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 I thought it was a brass knuckle. <laughs> <laughs> Why you got so many pretzels? It's my dinner. <laughs> she's got to. She's got to maintain that uh, that weight gain she did. Oh yeah, yeah. all those carbs. All right, uh, so, okay, so you come out, uh, we'll just say you come out eventually, and Crowley, I mean, not Crowley, uh, the warden is still looking at all of you going like, so what, so what's the holdup? Are we going, he's like, okay. he looks at you, Crowley, he's like, about time you got over here. What did you find? I found this box with money, and I just, like, hand it to him. <laughs> yeah, he takes it, he opens it. He, he, ta he basically takes what's in there and just dumps it to, like, one of his smaller, his pouches that's, like, attached to his side. He, he reaffixes it. He's like, this, but he, throw, he tosses the box to the side because he doesn't care. He's like, well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Yeah, we just wrong. All right, let's, get, let's skedaddle. We continue our walk. All right, and uh, remember, I mean, you guys tell me what you're doing. Like, you got, and I'll say during the course of the fight, you know, I'll, I'll reveal some more area. Like, you know, you guys have seen, like, what's basically around this little, like, fortress. But uh, you still don't know what's inside. More map. Mm. Yeah, but you guys don't know what's inside because nobody's opened the doors. Hey, Maybe Trini, I want to be you... extra. What? Didn't you say you wanted to leave like around now for the thing? Oh, I can keep playing till like seven thirty ish. Okay. My mom's not even here yet, so I want to watch it. <laughs> I just, oh, me and mom, I want to watch. I gotta play basketball. Want to watch the what? 
the VMAs. Ain't no time for the VMAs. It's D A D A time. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> That's what time. Hold on. Hold on. I mean, you guys. She's not even here yet. Right, Plus, so, I can go to like seven thirty, so it's okay. It's all good. Oh, I, I hate you. So I guess, you I guess I'll be the one to open the door then. No, wait. Brian, somebody gonna wake me up, or am I just gonna sleep the whole time? Nah, you gonna sleep. sleep. Oh yeah, I forgot you're asleep. We'll say you have. Let's say you have enough sense to kind of like. No, I don't. I'm playing the role. I'm sleep. <laughs> and a warden can wake you up. Actually, that door actually open. by this point, yeah, the door, the the warden, like he doesn't give you a full blown shot, but he gives you enough of a shot to wake you up. And I jump up. He's like, <laughs> "Get back to work, dog." Oh. <laughs> I'm just cleaning myself while they're opening the door. Then <laughs> you just look at really. You just want to lick more of the blood that's on you, like. <laughs> <laughs> Like, oh, there's like a little piece of meat, a grizzle still stuck to your sword. Uh, so, okay, so you guys, uh, you, you open the door? Yep. Uh, lucky for you, it was unlocked and not trapped. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Didn't even think about that. <laughs> uh, but as you open it, it's like, but it does slide. It kind of scrapes along the floor. Uh, this is a decrepit and well-traveled room. Other than being littered with trash yeah. and debris from outside, what? It is unremarkable. Vinny! This is. Oh, I got this thing gets my nerves sometimes. What's okay. up, Vinny? Da, 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 da. This is basically what you guys see. A floor. Mm. Yeah, it's just a very unremarkable floor. Wow. Room. There's a door. There's two. There's two mostly like they're they're technically like openings to your left <laughs> and right, but you can't really see. And there's a door. And there's a door closed directly in front of you. What do you guys do? Oh, shoot. Let's see if we can find. Let's see if we can time. find some uh, some music appropriate for. Comes to my room with that thing. I swear to God. No. No. <laughs> Trinity, why? Are you... Yeah, this will be the music we play. Up in here. So what are we doing? Uh, are you said there's two doors, right? There's two, there's two openings to your right and left, like to the east and west, and there's a uh, there's a closed door directly to the north, to the, directly in front of you. And you know, once again, like you know, it's stone wall. It, it, you know, it's a keep, so it's stone walls. Uh, you know, there's a ceiling, uh, and I'll say the ceiling is like uh, there's a, there's nothing really spectacular about this room. It's just you know, and the only real light coming through is from the front. There's the door. The, now the door's open where you just came through. There's light coming through. I want to walk up to the door and see if it's, uh, walk up to like that main door, like right. In front of you? Here. Wait, wait, what? It? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. And then I just want to like, that floor look a little trapped. So I want to like. Oh, you guys have already, <laughs> you guys have already walked through it. <laughs> oh, we're in there? Well, well, Crowley did. Crowley opened the door. All right, did he die? No. Nah, your boy, your boy just chilling. <laughs> All right, so I'll go in here, like, right here. I'm, I'm, I want to sniff this door, the one on the left. You know what's crazy? What? Dad, I'm going to just, can I just turn invisible and just walk in there? Yeah, you can do that. Yeah, I want to do that. Okay. Uh, you, you, wanna look, you said you want to look for the opening on the left? Yeah, or the, the left side. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, hold on. I mean, I'm getting a I can't find the kind of music I was looking for. It's kind of driving me nuts. Here, we'll just play this. Oh my god! Ignore that. This thing is this thing is getting on my nerves. Whoa, whoa! Cover your screen. Whoa. Don't look. What? Like it? It, it like I'll I'll literally just press a button. Ooh, wait. Like, <laughs> it, and that and now it won't let me cover anything. Like I don't understand. Oh, what's that? <laughs> I like want to go. It's so obnoxious. It's like all I'm trying to do is click on the thing. It's like, nah, we're going to reveal everything. That, Roll 20 is not my favorite system. <laughs> it's like, but anyway. It's my favorite. It's not mine. It kind of gets my flipping nerves. Uh, but anyway, so you look over, you look inside the left room, and what you see is uh, make sure I'm telling you the right one. 
Uh, several old wooden chairs and a pair of small tables are found in this musty chamber. A long, out-of-use fireplace is in the centerpiece of the north wall. Several holes are in the ceiling. Very little sunlight enters this room, but there is sunlight coming from the holes on the ceiling. Like, you know, like, like God rays? Yeah. <laughs> God rays. Yeah, that's what they're called. That, that's one of the names of us. Uh, God rays. Godfrey. So you guys tell me what you're doing. Uh... I guess. Look at the right. <laughs> okay, you look to the right. I want to go to the left. Well, hold on. Right, in the left. I can only say one thing at a time. Uh, hey, what the heck? Why? Urgh, I want a new computer so bad. This thing is driving me insane. Uh, uh, several, several rickety wooden chairs surround a small table in this room. The north wall has a fireplace in the center. It's almost exactly like it is um, uh, in the room before. And the, in the one you just um, like, these rooms are almost, I, like, almost mirror each other. Yo, hey, y'all want to play musical chairs? <laughs> okay. Oh, what? <laughs> <laughs> no, wait. <laughs> huh? um, I venture further into the room. Huh? I venture further into the room on that opening I see. Like on the right or left? You guys gotta remember, I can't. I'm not constantly looking at the map because I have to look at a bunch of other stuff. So you have to be right. one more. Okay, so yeah, okay. Room number. Use the number. Just say room number seven. Seven. Okay, so are you trying to go into the next room? Is that what you're saying? Yes. Okay. What is that? Um, you go into the next room, and this room is clearly used for storage. Boxes and crates of all kinds are filling the space. That's mostly what's in there, and I will reveal it now. Lame. I mean, you're, you're um, the guy. Let's, 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 let's go back to uh, Galactus. I mean, not Galactus. Uh, Argos, what were you trying to do? Uh, I just want to uh, turn invisible and explore the rooms. Which which room? Uh, you, just tell me the number. Just tell me the number. Uh, seven. Seven? Yep. All right. All right. What are, are you just okay? If you're taking the time to really look and through through the room, what uh, is this? you can tell that the music. No. Hey, it's, it's, oh, that's what that is. Music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, it's weird because I can't find a good like unless you guys. I I literally all of my music seems to be really weird right now, and I can't seem to find good music for this moment. So I'm just like I'm playing creepy music basically. Is I can that... also. Yeah. Hey, let's, let's try. Sounds like your life. Let's try this song. I have no idea. Uh, but anyway, but what, what you do notice particularly different about this room, uh, Argos, is the chimney itself is just like, and, and you can tell, especially from your small size and everything, that there is a lot of rotted timbers and wood. Like, they, like clearly whatever was on the second floor has broken and like it's clogged the chimney itself. That's the only thing really of interest. Oh, uh, I mean... I want to try. Uh, is there uh, any? And, and, and if you and if you want, roll. A, if you want to roll a uh, uh, investigation, if you want to like really, really search the room. All right. Uh, and remember, our, if you don't have investigation, add your um, intelligence. Sixteen. Sixteen. That is yep. more than enough to you actually find a uh, a stuffed pillow. Like it's kind of covered in dust, but it's in the corner. <laughs> It was like it's actually it's like an old feather stuffed pillow, but you also um, you notice there might there might be something behind uh, like like the the timbers and the rotten wood is kind of blocking the chimney. There you think there might be like once again you're, the way that your brain works, you're like you think there might be something in there, but you can't look because there's so much stuff. But it also doesn't look safe to move. Like, it looks like it's, like, barely holding itself in there. So you have to balance if you want to try or not to move, to dig through to get to the stuff that might be behind yeah, it. Yeah, I want to try to dig through. Huh? I want to try to dig through. Okay. Uh, you try to, okay. So you basically start, care, like, uh, trying to, like, move things. Uh, I need you to make a dexterity saving throw. Oh, I'm sorry, 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 sorry. You have to make, I'm sorry, make a... 
You know what? Do a sleight of hand check to see if you can do it without uh, messing up the rubble. See Might be a ripple. Do a sleight of hand check. Once again, if you don't have sleight of hand, uh, add your uh, dexterity. Um, 18. 14 okay. plus. Be, it's mostly because of your very, very small size. You're able to like kind of cram yourself in there and be really careful. Uh, you actually find a loose brick and behind that loose brick uh, is um, something wrapped in a cloth and a small bag, a small leather pouch and a, and a something wrapped in cloth. Can I see what it is? You would, I would suggest you grab it and then get back out of there because you're still like inside of a chimney. I want to grab it and get back out and see what it is. Okay. It is, the thing wrapped in the cloth is an ornate silver dagger. Yes. And the other thing in the pouch actually has about 71 gold pieces. I dare you to stab the warden with it. That's what I was about to do. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! He is 13 steps ahead of you. <laughs> mm, okay, so I found some gold, right? You're not going to do it. I'm going to just throw it all over the floor just because she's going to take it. <laughs> yeah, you can gold. do that. <laughs> I'm gonna put it. I'm, I'm gonna keep it on me this time and not tell him. Like, nope. I'm this time. Okay. we real quick. What is everybody else doing before the warden starts entering and doing stuff? Oh shoot. Uh, uh, I want to explore the room to the left. Number four. Uh, four. Yeah. Okay. What What do you want to do exactly? Um. Just, do you just want to investigate the room in general, or? Yeah. Okay. Roll an investigation check. Actually, you know what? I will let you make a decision. You can either do investigation, which is intelligence, or you can do uh, perception, which is wisdom, whichever one you want to do. All right. Nine plus four, that'll be 13. 13? Uh, you don't necessarily quickly see. It. Once again, this room is filled with like kind of like rubble and stuff like that. Uh, but you do notice that there is like a kind of a raggedy hole, like I like like I don't want to say right, but they say a hole that looks a little bit broken, that's slightly larger towards the fireplace, and you you swear you hear like a small like like a little like scratching noise, but not like anything crazy. But you do hear a small scratching noise near the chimney, near that hole. You hear a, <laughs> hear a rat. <laughs> I mean, it's, it it sounds it sounds rodent ish, yeah. But once again, you're, you're with that role. You're not quite sure what you hear. I'll investigate it. What do you want that, to do exactly? That, um, gonna mess around with the rubble. See if I can draw it out. Okay, you get you come near the chimney, and when you, when you get near the chimney, you kind of you kind of rest your head on the chimney, just trying to figure things out. And as soon as you do that, you hear a really awful <laughs> and this very very large bat comes crawling out of that hole above and attacks you. Uh, Yo. <laughs> like, and I'm talking like a really big bat. Like, it's like way too big. It's like, I think it's, uh, let me let me tell you. Disgusting. Yeah, like, yeah. if anything, the only reason this thing, the only reason this thing is hesitant at attacking you, because it's so, it's literally the size of like, at least, at least like a large, like a small horse or a large pony. That's how big this bat is. What? Uh, bat yeah. coronavirus? Yeah, yeah. And, uh, but anyway, it goes after you, Crowley. Uh, what is your AC right now? Uh, I am at a 16. Yeah, it Don't hits you. It, 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 it attacks you with its bite. It's, it starts flapping. It, like, it's, it's almost so big, it's having a hard time like flying in this room, but that's not really what its goal is. Its goal is just to attack you for like essentially disturbing its home. Uh, and it gets you for five points of damage initially. Uh, so now everyone else can react to this if they want. Well, except for our guys. Except you know, for just, me. Where, 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 I'm, in a, I'm in room eight where the storage is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So right now, really, uh, there's the... the Do there's I no, just hear... And, yeah, and I'll say, uh, Grease, since you really haven't done much, he like he, you definitely you definitely hear the scream. Yeah, well, I was, I was going to say when you asked what everybody was doing, I was like sniffing that door in room... You uh, can still... From being in room three, you absolutely yeah. can see and hear this bat attacking Crowley. Okay, since this is attacking him, do I get still or advantage? Well, it's, he's already attacking. So what do you do? Like basically, it's already attacked. So now everyone can react to it. Who's near? I want to swing back at him with my war pick. I'm gonna turn invisible. 
Yeah. Okay, <laughs> Argos turns in- Argos hears a streak and turns invisible. That's all he does. So, Got like a I said, 17. I, that definitely hits. Yeah. So now I go. Giant yep. bat. Thank you, Matt oh. Mercer. Giant. <laughs> <laughs> I hit him for 10. Him for 10? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, you 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 basically whack the bat. It's still alive. Like you basically hit him, and he kind of squirms a little bit. He like flat. He like his wings. When he opens up his wings, it actually takes up a huge. Like the dust in this room is flying around, and he just. It's like it looks like a manic animal, just like just wildly uh, attacking you. Uh, but uh, yeah. So what are you doing? Uh, go, uh, no, no boy. Uh, no. I would imagine his back is like to the door. The bat. <laughs> Is like to the door, so I just want to jump on him and bite. Yeah, you can absolutely right, roll an attack. Oh shoot! I yeah, this bat, this bat's like just wildly flapping around, kicking up dust, like. Uh, come on, roll! I just rolled three d twenties. Jesus Christ! I mean, you can attack three times. You do have that. <laughs> Oh, wait, then let me. 11, 13, 9, plus 6 to all of them. Uh, Let's just say, uh, yeah, all of those hit. Yeah, all those hit. <laughs> there, put it like this there's no way you're not going to kill this thing, so just describe your murder. It's like kicking up all that dust, and I just jump on his back and like bring it to the ground, and I rip his wings off. Sure. <laughs> like a kid playing with a bug. Or torturing a bug. Yeah, you just rip his wing. So yeah, now you got this, and yeah, and it slowly bleeds to death. So now the room's got blood, and it's got a dead giant bat in there. Um, I'm blood rage, so I just want to eat the bat. Well, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, it's, it's easy. It, it's easy enough for you to just like nibble on the bat. Yeah, you're mm-hmm. still pretty. You just you know, you're still pretty full from the last meal. So he's never full. No, he, never. no he's never full, but he's just pretty full. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so you, you're just kind of you're just kind of chowing down on the bat while everyone else does whatever they want to do. Uh, I'm uh, scared. Scared me. I probably should be eating this bat. <laughs> uh, it's, it's too late now. <laughs> so what is anybody else doing? Uh, I'm still Scavenging. invisible. Okay, and uh, what are you doing, Haras? Oh, uh, the room with all the stores. The eight. I'm in there, just looking around, being nosy. Right, you yeah, can I think? Do you, do you want to roll investigation and check the crates? Yes, I want to roll that. Can I think of something now. of how to get this collar off my neck? You, tell me what you're trying to do to make that happen. Mm. Uh, I like mean, you, you have to tell me. I when I try, roll perception, I'm going to try cutting uh, it off. I mean, uh, well, what, 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 are, what are, are you just looking or are you touching things? That's the difference. Oh, touch. I want to try to investigate. I want to try to cut it your off. Intelligence. Intelligence. Okay, I was there. No, which one so you want to use that dagger to try to cut the collar? Four. Yeah. Uh, roll an attack. Let's see what you do. He stabbed himself. <laughs> Dies. He got a nine. A nine. Um, yes, ma'am. Uh, you. Oh, that's not good. You stupid. Uh, <laughs> well, you should have a high intelligence, so. I do, and it was. I rolled a freaking five. Uh, uh, really, you just once again, it's just a that that you you're you're te- you're like opening the crate. You open up a box. Mm-hmm. What, Dylan? How much is a dagger? How much is a dagger? Oh, Dylan, just, just tell me what you roll. Just tell me what you roll. How uh, much is a dagger? A what? A nineteen. Okay, so you rolled really good. So basically, even though you you almost cut yourself a little bit because this dagger is pretty big compared to how small you are. You're able to you're able to slide it between the thing, but as soon as you try to like pull to cut it, uh, you roll a Constitution saving throw. Oh, he sees it. Dun, dun, dun. I got a sixteen. A sixteen. That's not enough. Uh, you go down for six rounds, and while you're down and convulsing, you actually hear the warning go. He goes. Oh, come on. You don't think those things don't have a defense mechanism. I didn't even press the button that time. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying something. I'm going to figure this thing out. I don't care. He's like, oh, my goodness. Um, Can it, um, 
Wait, can I see the, wait, a button, hold on. A, okay. Maybe that button might release the collars from our neck. Maybe that button might. saying this out loud? <laughs> no, I'm just saying like, Maybe the all right. button. <laughs> all right, but anyway, um, okay, so for us, I'll say, like, what you do is you kind of you kind of move stuff around. And right now, like, none of these boxes kind of stand out to you. But when you push, when you, when you like, push one thing, it kind of falls over. And you notice that there's one particularly large box in the back. And just for some, whatever reason, it just kind of strikes you like, huh, that, it, it looks like there's less dust on that box back there. So it, it just stands out to you as being a little bit more interesting. Want to touch? Are you going to try to open it? Yes. All right, are you open it with your hands or like a crow? You don't even have a crowbar, do you? I don't have uh, anything. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, say what, we'll say you find a crowbar in the room. Just so, it I use a crowbar. All right, as soon as you pop it open, like you, you, because you know, you, you know how to use a crowbar. You snap it in there. You, no, I don't. As, as soon as you pop it open, you immediately are attacked by, you basically like this, as soon as it pops open, these like rotted arms come out of the crate and you hear this, and a, and a zombie pops out and tries to bite you. Oh, a zombie. Oh, snap. Well, actually the first thing, first thing he does is attack, the first thing he does is attack you. He with his, uh, he just, he just, and he completely, he completely misses, and this is why he misses. Like, and he completely missed. He when he lunges after you, he actually falls on the ground, and you realize he only has one leg. Like the other leg's completely ah. missing. But he's on the ground. He's still he's like crawling on the ground and still like trying to like go after you. So it's uh, probably crowbar that fool. What are you doing, training? Crowbar that fool. <laughs> roll for it. <laughs> roll an attack. Roll, but roll with advantage because. He's on the ground. She's like, yeet! <laughs> <laughs> and I'll, t I'll tell you what to add. Just roll your dice. I'll tell you what to 14. add. How much? Oh, Trinity. 14. That is enough to hit it. It's not hard to hit these things. Uh, roll, uh, roll, a, roll a 1d6. I did it. I got a 2. Okay, and a negative 1 because you're not strong. So he, <laughs> you basically hit him in his you hit him in his back and a little like bit a bit of nastiness just like him, but he's still he's still crawling and what is it okay real quick you're dealing with that what's everybody else doing real quick I'm done I'm done eating yeah 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 you you were like, I got you, zombie you, here ate, for you. you ate but you didn't like dig into it the way yeah. you dig into everything else you're just kind of like because you know whatever <laughs> so what is everybody else doing at this moment. Uh, I'm, I want to continue to the left of four. I want to oh, check you were, for traps. Oh, you were in four. Oh, no, I want to continue. Oh, 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 like, you want to check for traps. Okay, roll investigation. Because yeah. you're specifically looking for traps. And that's, um, intelligence, right? Uh, yes. I got a 16. A 16? Uh, you don't find any traps like uh and once again like you guys can tell that like a lot of creatures come and go like it just seems like there's there's foot there's dirty footprints there's a lot there's a, 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 it's hard to describe like there is a lot of trash and it's not old trash it's almost like they just drag in stuff they drag in mud they drag in food they, like whatever creatures are constantly going through this area it seems pretty well trapped it they literally just it's almost like candy wrappers all over the place it's like just or a lot of fill, like a lot, and you figure that's probably why it's not really trapped necessarily, because maybe there's just a lot of, you know, why trap your front door kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, but uh, what I will say with that with that investigation check, you do find in the corner of the room, it seems like a relatively undisturbed like pouch, because everything else looks like garbage. This actually looks like it's like it's covered in dust or whatever, uh, and it's like next to the door as you're walking towards the next door. I want to go check out that pouch. It, it, it's a relatively small pouch. You pick it up. Uh, do you open up and look inside? Yeah. It is filled, like filled a comes out. with dried peas. Just a whole uh, bunch what? of dried peas. Peas. Yeah, like, 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 like black eye, like sort of like black eyed peas. Just a whole bunch of peas in there. Okay. Yeah. Yum. Oh shoot. You don't really I'll know. What to, you don't really know what to make of it. It's just a bunch of peas. <laughs> I was keeping a snack on then. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but uh, so I'm guessing you're close enough now to look into room five. Yeah. 
This man said, I keep it the snack on. He about to be chewing on, chopping on some <laughs> Oh, okay, okay. Hey, bro, you've been eating some hey, dead bodies this whole time. Hey, hey. I know I get to eat. <laughs> That's nutritional. All right, if you so think nutritional. It was good, too. What you see in this room is, uh, once again, even though you haven't walked into the room with the zombie right now, it looks almost exactly like that. It's a room used for storage, boxes and crates of all kinds. Uh, do you walk inside? Yeah, sure. Okay. Uh, when you walk inside, you actually hear uh, a voice. Actually, no, I'm sorry. Well, well, we'll just say you go in and you touch one of the crates that's nearby, like you like barely touch it. And then you hear a voice that goes, who's there? Uh, it's me, Crowley. <laughs> <laughs> Tragedy, is that you? Do I hear that? Do I hear it? No, you're too far away. <laughs> oh, well, never mind then. And that's it. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I disturb it again. Like I, I like knock on whatever it was in. You don't. Like, you don't hear. You don't hear anything else. Uh, I'm gonna open it up. <laughs> Just, it's 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 random junk. Like we'll say this one you open is filled with like like straw. Like it's filled with a lot of straw. Almost like this crate was just filled with packing straw. Like you use at packing for. It's like literally, yeah. ju- it's unbelievable junk in there. Uh, if you want, if you want though, roll a do. Go ahead and roll a investigation check. Why not? All right. But you're digging around in this box of straw. Dig, dig. Eighteen. Yeah, dig. That is enough. Yeah, where heard. At the very bottom, like because you can't like dig towards the bottom, and you find three old silver tables, teaspoons. All right. Like they're tarnished, they probably need to be played, but just, just like, you feel like they're maybe, maybe like at one point, like fine din- dinnerware was stored in this box at one point, and the straw was used to help keep it from getting damaged. All right, all right, all right. Well, re- real quick, grow back to you, uh, Haras. What are you doing with this zombie that's still crawling on the ground that you could easily outwalk, just outwalk if you want? Yeah, I'm gonna just outwalk them, come out, walk to them, be like, hey, this is a zombie. Yeah, and the zombie is very slowly dragging I mean, itself on the floor. There's a zombie over there. Did you just hear it? Yes. <laughs> um. I keep doing that. But I will say, uh, yeah, yeah, that's that's really all you really hear. So. I'm still trying to figure out a way how to take this collar off my neck. It's so dark. <laughs> Are you? Have you been invisible this whole time? Yeah. Argos? Yeah. Uh, after a minute, beep, beep, your collar's oh. beeping again. Uh oh. And at this, and, and at this yeah, point, yeah. the warden, the warden, seeing all of you kind of separate, he hears the beeping. Uh, as soon as he hears the beeping, he's like, "You have two seconds to get back in front of me in a visible state." Um, I turn off. <laughs> I say no. He shocks you. <laughs> roll a de- roll another d- <laughs> dexterity. Sa- I mean, roll another constitution saving throw. I say no. <laughs> He's like, um, I say no. <laughs> uh, fourteen. Fourteen. Uh, you're yeah, you're 12, you're down. Uh, a, like, but here's okay. Here's the thing. Uh, you're down for six rounds. Oh, I, I, I rolled high. And that zombie, now that he sees you, is crawling towards you, and you can't, oh, no. you can't do anything about it because you're <laughs> incapacitated. So, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> like, is anybody going to do anything? I, I want to crawl by a zombie again. Sure. I didn't see it, so. <laughs> <laughs> okay, roll it. Roll, like, roll another attack. <laughs> roll another attack with advantage on the zombie. Huh? I can't hear you. It, what it, happened to your mic? I'm yeah, exactly. It. <laughs> yeah, it's completely yeah, out. What? Like we hit. Unplug it. Plug it back in. <laughs> like, yeah, we don't hear anything. <laughs> I heard teen. Eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, that's enough. Uh, roll de- <laughs> roll one d six. What did I have a turn mic? <laughs> Everything's broken. Oh, <laughs> Why did it get dark in his room, bro? Because he won't turn on the light. I saw that too. I saw that too. I was like, 
Go ahead and roll your damage. Uh, but remember, roll a 1d6 and put a negative 1, because you don't have any strength. Four. Four? Three. Uh, so three points of damage. No, no, it's a four. Uh, no, it's a four. I already subtracted. Okay, so you hit, you, you, once again, you hit the, you hit him, you hit him like in the back shoulder. He like weakly swats this at you. Uh, but you notice like between the, everybody talking that, you actually, you do hear more zombie-like sounds coming from that room. And you're, uh, Zombie spawner. Uh, oh my God, it is it's a zombie, zombie spawner. spawner. And, uh, well, actually, from your point of view, uh, because the, right now this crawling zombie is in room seven, and that's where you are, uh, Haras. You look up after you hit him with your crowbar, and you notice from that from that opening to the, like, uh, in room eight, there's, like, a little bit of opening to the north. You notice several more figures, which you assume are zombies, are starting to come out of that room. Oh. Uh, I've been a... And right now you can only make out two of them, but you it sa- the sound makes you think there might be more coming. Uh, I want to attack. <laughs> and do what exactly? Uh, um... uh, well, actually, you can't because you just attacked this zombie. What's everyone oh. else doing right now? I'm on the ground. Yeah, you're on the I'm ground. Like... You, can't, you can't do anything. On the ground. I'm all the way in, like, number five, so I didn't really notice this. Hey, Dad, what did you- I, I, like, I will say between, like, I mean, you can hear. Remember, I can hear it. You can hear like, it echoing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I assume that she's handling it, and I'm just, like, still okay. kind of looking That's around. I'm fine with that. Uh, what are you doing, uh, Grease? Um, and I will um, say, Grease, if you want, roll, uh, real quick, just roll a survival check. Yeah, um. Yeah. I got a question. Yes. What, do I know what these colors are called? No, you don't know what they're called. Oh. I mean, like, I mean, I mean, you guys can make up a name. I haven't really. Given Wait, what, them a name. what's the actual name? The Bing Bong. I don't know. You said you don't know? Yeah, I made them up. I didn't. I didn't bother naming them. Constitu- the name of it is the Constitution Saving Throw. Yeah, basically. Necklace. It's necklace. Wait a minute, Dylan. Are you trying to cheat and look up how to defeat them? Yeah, that's, that's what I thought too. <laughs> I was like, he's probably cheating. Uh huh. Damn, my boy is cheating. <laughs> I got a seventeen on survival. You absolutely can smell rotting flesh. Like, and so you, you mm. very quickly turn around and you like. You might not know they're zombies, but you're like, that's like. Remember, it's you. You tell me how you feel about dead meat, but it's it's rotted dead meat. So like, I'm just nibbling on the bat, like yeah, watching yeah. Him do whatever. <laughs> or not Marlon, but crawling, crawling. Yeah, crawling. And then I like, I start like sniffing the air. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. Trying to look out the door. Yeah, you I, remember, for you, it's almost like a long hallway. And at the very end of the hallway, you see these figures kind of going. And um, and then like and, um, yeah, lit. Yeah, and they're just and they're and it's which everyone else smells horrific to you. It's just oh, you you know rotted meat when you smell rotted meat. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> I'm like. <sighs> I stand up, and I like I want to charge the one that's on the ground. Uh, well, the one that's right in front of Haras. Uh, that's fine. You can go ahead and start, but but the one that's in front of Haras is going to attack Haras because she's right there. Uh, because she's the one that just hit it with a thing, and zombies are just going to attack whatever. Uh, it rolled a. Yeah, that's it. even even uh, uh, what's your AC right now, Haras? Is it like a fourteen? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, it, it hits you unless you want to cast shield. Shield. You want to shield? All right, so you cast shield real fast as it like swings its arm to you, and its arm kind of bounces off of your invisible barrier. It's like ah, loser. But uh, but yeah, uh, tell me what you do. Uh, tell me what you do. Um, uh, dog man or uh, grease? Dog man. Dog man <laughs> grease. I want to. Uh... Rip his spine out. I mean, roll attack. You still got to roll attack. Yes. <laughs> the one on the ground, you can roll with advantage, though. Okay. 15 plus 6. 15 plus 6? Um, yeah. I mean, yeah, hit. that absolutely hits, yeah. I was, like, I was trying to... I was thinking of something else entirely. Um, and then... Wait. Would I replace... Wait, because I want to use my hand, like my claws. Is that like a thing? Uh, if you do that, we're just going to use your bite. Okay. Yeah, your claws and bite would pretty much be the same thing. Four plus four, eight. 
Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you you basically sink your claws into them, like both your claws at the same time, and it's and it t- and basically the 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 zombie just kind of stops moving, just kind of dry, like it like it was like slightly stiff and like you know and clawing, and then it just kind of drops to the ground. And um, but now but now you can easily see there's at least two, or maybe even three more coming around the corner. Did I lick my hand to activate blood rays? Uh, you can do that. But there is, there's no actual, there's no, basically, if this thing has blood, it's coagulated, and it does not activate your blood rage. Oh, okay. Yeah. You you realize that, too. You're just like, there's, you know, it is dead meat, rotted meat, but there's no, like, it, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's not that type of blood. It's yeah. like, it's, you know, it's, 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 this zombie, this zombie's probably been dead for a very long time. Well, I reduce his hit points to zero, right? So then I can lunge to... Yeah, yeah, no, you still got two other attacks, so you could just move yeah, to them and just I do wanna, it. Yeah. One sword, take both my swords, I take one sword and just like swipe up at the other zombie. Yeah, that's roll for attack. But this is a regular attack, just a straight attack. Uh oh, six plus six. Twelve. Uh, 12. That hits. Ooh. And surprisingly, dead bodies aren't hard to hit. <laughs> <laughs> They don't. They don't feel like the zombies do nothing to try to avoid your attacks. You get what I'm saying? Like, yeah, yeah. They're they're literally not fighting back at all. Four foot, so eight is the damage. Okay, you 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 slash off one of their arms, but it's still still coming at you, and you still and you can tell like between your smelling and your point of view now, there are definitely four zombies all together coming around that. So you cut one of their arms off, but it's still coming at you. And the other, the, the other three are still coming around. Uh, I want to swipe. Are they like in a line? More or less, yeah. Like, if anything, they're having a tough time getting to. Like, two of them are kind of stuck in the door because they're trying to go through at the same time. But the other two are kind of lined. The, the one you just attacked and the one more and then the two stuck in the door. Is the one that I hit... Um... Are two of them out of the doorway? Yes. Okay, so I want to, uh, the one that I hit, and yeah. then I want to go around, like, and hit the other one. That's fine. Now, does he get a free attack because he hit me? Uh, I, I will say because of the close quarters of this room, you can get to the other one without leaving the other one's space. You don't have to worry about attack of opportunity right now. I wanted him to hit me. Oh, Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> then I'll let him attack you. If if you're actively trying to do that, like stepping away enough to cause that and then come back, uh, uh, he definitely hits you. He rolled really, really high. Um, and I basically, institutional bite on him. All right. Well, once, well, well, first it's gonna do some damage to you, and you gotta take the full damage. No, it ain't. Uh, <laughs> Oh, oh goodness! I, I use glimpse of temporal flood. It's, it's so good. <laughs> you uh, wish. It, it, it basically it's it basically kind of like bitch slaps you with its like back hand and gives you like five <laughs> points a day. Because I mean that's how zombies attack. They just kind of toss their body at you. So it's sla- it basically slaps you for us. Uh, I'm mean, sorry, five points of bludgeoning damage. Uh, but yeah, you can do your bite attack on them. Well, I gotta see if I hit that other one first. Well, no, I mean if it hits you, you're if you were to use your reaction, you can do your reaction to it. No, like, okay, so I had one more attack left, and then, because what that's why I went around, because I wanted to hit the other one, but I never rolled to see if I hit him. I know, but you said you wanted that thing to attack you so you could do your reaction, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Go ahead and do your bite attack, your, 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 uh, yeah, your immediate bite attack from getting uh, hit. 18 plus 6. That definitely hits. Uh... Seven. Okay, uh, yeah, you, you bite into him. You like kind of sink into his shoulder. And then when you come back, I mean, once again, there's no real tangible blood to him. And he's still he's still up and he's still moving. But now you can attack that other zombie. Yeah. Or or you could attack him one more. The same one that you've been wailing at, you can attack him one more time. I want to attack the same one. Huh? I want to attack the same one. Okay, so go ahead and swing your other sword. Oh, natural 20. Natural 20. Uh, I... I, I can already tell you whatever damage you roll is going to be enough to take him out. And uh, with this particular zombie, because because you rolled a natural twenty, um, 
you like you you basically decapitate him like you and you don't just decapitate him you slice through his brain pan and so his brains come like out the top uh and he drops to the ground completely not moving at all like just <laughs> makes a sickening noise drops to the ground but now you've got the one in the room and the two that are kind of stuck in the doorway because they're trying to go through at the same time um what what uh what does anybody else want to do during this Um, well, actually, you know what? I guess it would actually be the god. Wait, uh, what? I reduce his hit points to zero, so I get another attack, right? Yeah, is actually, right? you do. You do get another attack. Yeah. But right. this dude's broken. <laughs> okay. It's gonna be I nerfed. Wanna, like, Next the patch. That's in the actually, you know what? Actually, you know what? According to your thing, you have to use a bonus action, and then you have to use a reaction. You already used your reaction to fight. Oh, use the reaction to move up there. Yeah, action. basically, there, there's still a cost every time you do that. First, it's your bonus, and then it's your reaction. And, but you know what? You haven't used your bonus, so yeah, this would be your bonus action. So yeah, go yeah. ahead, swing your swing a sword. Very simple. I I can swing my sword. So that's copyright. Um, eighteen. That's enough to hit. Roll for damage. What the heck was that? Oh yeah. <laughs> I know. Oh, like, y'all can hear that? Yeah. <laughs> it's sort of loud noise. I was like, it's like yelling. Uh, three plus four. Okay. Uh, you, you don't hit him nearly as solidly as you solidly as you did the last couple of zombies. Like you basically pierce through his chest, come back out, and he's still fine. <laughs> so, uh, like a little bit of like a little bit of du- like nasty like old dusty like crap comes out of his chest. <sighs> So, um, so uh, I, I'll say now. I'll, now I'll get the zombies to turn. Essentially, uh, basically, all the zombies are going to go after you since you're like right Help there. Me. Help me! <laughs> Help me! <laughs> all uh, of them are going to. All of them are going to swing at you. Um, it's too much work. Yeah, still stuck on the ground, right? Yeah, you're still stuck on the ground right now. Yeah. He's really still on the ground. Man. <laughs> Uh, two of them got you. One gets you for five. Oh. One gets you for seven. No, I'm sorry. One gets you for six. The other one gets you for four. Reaction. Just, they're just like yeah. they're basically just walloping you with their arms. Like, yeah, oh, reaction. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> you can't. You already used your reaction. Oh, I thought it was every time they hit. Mm. Oh, no. What once per turn? This is all still that part of that same turn. Uh, the one. Uh. That, the, the one that uh, you first attacked, and the one that Haras uh, hit with a crowbar, it actually get, it actually still moves because uh, it turns out it's a lot harder to keep zombies down. Uh, and you guys didn't do a critical hit on it or cut its head off, and so it kind of gets up. And, but this time, it actually reaches out for Argos, who is sitting there and can't do anything about it. Oh. <laughs> uh, and it still Ooh. missed him. All right. <laughs> like, it like swats his arm and completely misses. The creature that can't even move right now, but that's the end of, that's the end of the zombies' turn. Now, once again, all of you can just tell me one thing that you're doing. Wait, wait, wait! How yeah. much did they hit me for? I didn't get. Oh, that. all together it was, it was five and four, I think. So nine all together. Help me! Help me! Shut up. <laughs> I keep saying, help me. Um, help. I guess I'll Good mind idea. sliver. One of them that's near Glizzy. Yeah, you know what? I'm honestly one like there's I at first was thinking that a mind sliver or that kind of stuff wouldn't work. Oh, and by the way, just so you know, uh Trinity, whenever you're out of combat, you automatically get your uh some temporal flood back. But yeah, go so ahead. You got it back. Yeah. And it, and it tur- and like and it turns out zombies are affected by mental stuff. At first I didn't think they worked. Hello? Me, but <laughs> uh, you you lucked out real good for that, but anyway, so it's got to roll against you. Uh, what does it have to be? A fourteen? Uh, uh yes, fourteen. Uh, lucky for you, they're they have a negative four, so they absolutely didn't make that roll. So go ahead and roll damage. Let me see where it is. Let maybe twenty six. Where are you at? There you are. Load. All right. Five. Five? Uh, yeah, you, you see it kind of roll its head around for half a second, but it's still moving. <laughs> you did, it. It. Yeah, zombies are relatively tough. Uh, oh, yeah. What does everybody else want to do? Uh, I'm still laying on the floor. You I'm being yeah, you're, you're out of the fight right now. 
I'm being beat in the corner. I will say I'm... the like this might be one of the first times all of you have, especially with a, with the zombie going after Argos. Uh, anybody who's even paying remote attention can hear the warden laughing, like going. <laughs> Bro, let's all jump in. Let's all jump in. Let's all jump in. Let's all jump in. Why are you keep doing that? <laughs> watch when I. <laughs> no. Watch when like, I get up. Watch when I get up. Like he's, he's and like he's he's not even helping you guys. He's just looking at the zombie flailing at our guys who can't move, and he's just going. Ah, ah, ah. Uh, that would be so funny. Uh, ugly. That would be so funny. I was assuming that they got it covered. Uh, and, and Crowley, I would say by now you're you have you are at least if you even so much as turn around, you're you're uh, you can hear people making lots of noise and commotion and fighting <laughs> and laughing. So it's once again it's still up to you what you do, but. I hear the laughing, and I'm pretty sure they're just having fun with something. Oh no! You, you hear the <laughs> warden laughing maniacally, uh, and you can tell. What's it? You you know the sounds of combat. You yeah. can hear like you know, and you also saw Grease run into the other room. So you're not yeah. you're not ignorant of what's happening unless you just <laughs> choose to ignore it. Uh, I choose. I'm gonna choose to ignore it, and I want to ready my war pick because I hear they're having danger over there. So I'm gonna assume there's danger with me on my side. Okay. And I want to uh, like ready my weapon and go to the room above five. Okay, that's what you want to do. Yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, so ba basically, you start to kind of you uh, like how how do you enter this room? Um, just very slowly with my weapon, like you know, ready to like raised. Okay, uh, what, 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 basically as you enter this very narrow sort of space, it's obvious that it, it, it's an old closet. It was used as a closet. And like hanging along the walls are like several old coats and outfits. A lot of them are very moth-eaten and bare thin. Uh, and it, but, it's, it, but it's also, you, you, you know, like when you walk in a walk-in closet, you have to like push clothing out of the way to get through. Yeah. Uh, I will say... Um, since you're walking slowly, I'll let you do an investigation check real fast. Or perception or investigation. Basically, you're rolling and adding either intelligence or wisdom. Whichever one you want. All right. You got a 21. That is more than enough to realize that in this room on the floor, there are several bear traps. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and they're not really well hidden, but like if you're paying more attention to the clothes and like trying to push them out of the way, you might miss them. But you like you're like, oh, there's bear like oh, and one of the bear traps is closed, and inside of it is a single rotting leg. Uh, oh, that's from the zombie. <laughs> yeah, but, <you> only... <laughs> but I don't know that. You don't know that. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, but that's that's. Are you doing anything else, or is that kind of the end of your? Um. I want to like, hmm, what can I do to like trigger them but not get hurt? Well, just so you know, now that you see them, it's not hard to avoid them. Yeah, but I'm mostly like wanting to like close them just in case the others come through here. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, you could like just easily, you could like literally drop something heavy, like heavy enough to set them off. Or like you could even like use the butt of your weapon, but there's a chance it'll close on the butt on your weapon. Wow. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. Yeah, I'm just gonna get the clothes, and I'm just gonna drop them in bear traps. <laughs> yeah, and I, I, for the most part, the weight of the clothes doesn't really set off the bear traps, but you feel like, eh, it, this is good enough. <laughs> <laughs> but that'll be the rest of your turn, though. Is like essentially preparing the, or I mean, hell, you can even like kick the bear trap off to the side of the wall. Like you just, you can do that's whatever. what I was thinking yeah. too. <laughs> like you could do that. Yeah. So we're yeah, just saying, we're gonna say you, you you spend your you spend your turn basically just kind of slapping these things to the side. Yeah. All right. So what does everybody else want to do? Can I get actually, up now? Actually, actually, Greece. No, you can't. You're still out. Uh, Greece. Actually, you're the only one left with uh, with something to do. So and you're surrounded by three zombies right now. Ugh. I hate this. You could just I whirlwind the attack. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. I love this. <laughs> You, you should. You're literally surrounded by things you like to kill. I love this. Um, this is the best day of my. Is it my birthday? Yeah, while they're beating me, I'm like laughing like a hyena. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'll do multi attack. Go ahead. For the 50th time. 
Um, <laughs> it's like you're, you're, I mean, all of you have like limited, you know, whatever, but that's, that's also the game. I want to, okay. Can I have all three attacks be swords? Yeah, sure. I just yeah, I, I'm, fi I'm fine. Yeah, you're not getting any nutritional value. I'll allow. Uh, sure, I'll allow that. Yeah. Technically, you're not supposed to do that, but yeah, whatever. I can do it. Gotta go soon. All right. The show up. I mean, you know what? Just to kind of speed this along, just tell me how you just did destroy these zombies. <laughs> like beating me, and then I just take my sword and I just like start okay. slashing all of them. Yeah, you 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 almost do that thing where you like almost like Legend of Zelda where Link just spins around and you start like whacking everybody with your swords. And I will say you do it enough times to where it eventually like to, and and uh, harass. How do you take care of the one zombie you're dealing with? I'll let you just take out that zombie. Stop on his head. Yeah, yeah these, but... these things aren't like huge threats. They're just like obstacles that are just almost annoying more than anything else. What do you do? What you gonna do to kill him? I know. I was like, are you? Huh? What you gonna do? Remember, to kill him? <laughs> I thought he said a gras, so I was waiting on Dylan. <laughs> oh, oh no! I said her Oh, I thought he said a gras, so I was like waiting. Like, what's he gonna do? <laughs> no, he, he's he's out for this fight. He can't do anything. Okay. Um, I used to have my staff. I'm like, I'm so cool. What are you going to do? That's what I'm going to do. Oh, wow. <laughs> 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 All right. So you, you, just, you, just poke, you just poke him in the head until his brain, his skull yes. caves into his brain. Okay, okay. Haras, I mean, not Haras, our guys, you finally come to, you're finally able to move. Uh, I want to stab the warden. <laughs> He's in a different serious? room. <laughs> Bruh. God. He's in a different room. Well, I want to turn it visible. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. I'm... Oh, 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 he's dead. Oh. <laughs> oh. He left. Oh. <laughs> he said, oh. He's like, what, what, no. Oof. Big. Ooh. See what you did? You said the word of one of our members die. <laughs> <laughs> He said my laptop died. Oh, is that what he said? <laughs> yeah. I, okay, we'll go ahead and end it right now. We'll end it when apparently our gods is going to go into a murderous rage, apparently. <laughs> I don't care, but I wouldn't even stop playing with me. <laughs> I think it's funny because he wanna uh, or he wanna electrocute me and then get killed. Almost get killed by some zombies. Alright, I'm gonna show him what's funny when I stab him. When I stab him, I'm like, Malcolm said, uh -huh. should I join? No, tell him we're going to go ahead and end it. And when I stab him, I'm like, you got to uh -huh. go, right? Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll go. Uh, I, I wanted I, to watch you with my mom, but she's still not here. Good. But you, but you that do was the watch plan. It. Yeah, good. I do want to watch it, but I was planning on being with her. Good. All right, so this this will be the end of tonight's thing. Yeah, when uh, is Labor Day? What? When is Labor Day? I don't know. Is it? I don't know. What that is. I said, when is it? I have, I have no idea. I don't pay attention to crappy American holidays. Welcome said he loves the fans. Loves the fans? Yes. Today we'll be done. <laughs> okay. He said my time has come. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to stop the thing. Uh, yay, we got to play. Um, I guess, and like I said, I'll, and I'm going to still work on the thing so we can start maybe. After, once this is done, <laughs> this whole thing is that we'll probably go to the uh, excuse me, we'll probably do the uh, he made like, it like himself it. and he's like yelling. I don't know what's happening. What's wrong oh, he, with oh, he muted himself, he muted himself and is screaming <laughs> like he's, he's trying to hear himself, but that doesn't make sense. But you can hear him screaming. Yeah, I don't know. He's trying to like, hear through the wall, but like he's doing it in that room. It, it doesn't make sense what he's trying to do. Oh, and it's like, all, eh? <laughs> the face is <laughs> All right, so Wrong I guess we'll end it. All right, bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Bye, Ellen.
Hey, just to do things slightly properly, we're saying goodbye. This is the end of part two. We still haven't actually recorded part three, so maybe we can stream it live on Twitch whenever we do. But anyway, hope you enjoyed us acting silly and having fun. We will see you. Uh, well, we won't see you. You'll hear us again. How about that?